Hello. Good morning, everybody. How's it going? So yesterday was the six year anniversary of the channel. And what is my hair doing? Whatever. <laughs> uh, yesterday was the six year anniversary of the channel. And we did this really cool, like roguelike, roguelike charity fundraiser thing. And I had so much fun. I decided to just run it back today. Now, I, I don't, I don't know. I want to try and separate yesterday from today because yesterday was special. So we're just going to pretend everything is cool. <laughs> Got it? Yesterday was a celebration day. Uh, today is the after party. And they're separate and they're both contained ideas and they're both special and we're just going to have a good time. Any questions? Any concerns? Good to see you, by the way. Good morning, friends. Good morning, A and Map. Good morning, Crowd Arona. Lobster, Ghidorah, Teacher Sean. Uh, Shane Lee Attack, thank you for the 47. Good morning, Ranatoki, Beholder. Good morning, Alma. What's up, early morning crew? Hello, Radio Dad. Everything is cool. Love it. Oh, yes, go ahead, Gunner. Good morning. Good morning, Deghag. When is the hotel lobby? Hold on. Party after party after the party is the hotel lobby and then bounce. I don't, I can't remember the lyrics. When do we get a canal? You know what? I was originally thinking of doing something canal related, but I don't, we're not playing a game that gives a good canal. So, you know, it works. Little hair of the dog on a roguelike, roguelike hangover. Sure. I mean, that was also last night, man. I streamed like 11 hours yesterday. <laughs> I, um, I, I streamed, I want to say like maybe another four, four and a half hours of Dungeons of Dreadmore last night. God, that game is fun. I'm thoroughly rehooked. Morning, correct. The real canal is the friends we made along the way. I agree, Ghidorah. Morning, Garth. Recently managed to watch your shuffle up and play episode. I think your indignation at the term Canadian commander was my favorite part. Man, I've never seen Wheeler turn so red. <laughs> morning, Zed. Good morning, Wooga Chaka. Good to see you, friends. Yeah, this game is just way too much fun. All right, let's start the day just with a normal old spin of the wheel. And... Real quick, uh, how I want to play today is, obviously donations are still open for charity because I think anytime people want to donate to the Trans Lifetime, Lifeline, pardon me, is the right time. Uh, I'm not going to push it as much. People want to mess with things. They are free to do so. It's an excellent cause. I still believe so. Um, but let's just kind of vibe and see what happens. That's, that's the goal for today. Starting with... Ring. I'm glad the wheel didn't die overnight. Starting, oh, it's going to be a tiny one. Starting with death must die. All right. You love to see it. When was the last time I played death must die? November 28th, 2023. Have there been any updates? There's been an update saying an update is coming. All right. When you say we can mess with things, tell me more. Uh, exclamation rules. I believe. Wait, why are you installing stuff, Overwolf? No? Go away. All right, how do I play this game again? <laughs> I appear to be the wizard. Right, okay, so my characters are all kind of stacked. I finished a run last, okay. Good. I'm just gonna play this character. All tier one. What is this stuff? And do I want to sell it? Ash range plus 5%. These shoes are basically exactly the same. All right. It's going to take me a second here to remember how to play this game. 
Oh, they put buyback in another tab. Very nice improvement. Holy moly. Mythic head. I should save these. Do we have game list in a command? Exclamation game list. We sure do. I'm just going to throw everything in here. Think about it later. I mean, once Act 2 comes out and I can just upgrade everything, I don't have to worry about it anymore, but that's fine. Morning, Anne, huh? Six years in a day. That's right. I'm old. I'm old now. All right, I remember how to play. I just walk in a line. I walk in a line and I grab all of the things. What do you do? Stone of experience. Hey, great start. Love experience. Which game is this? Right, I should change the... Um, this is Death Must Die. I should change the stream title. Thank you. All right. Good morning, everybody. Oh, we start with the fate. Wild. Your attacks shoot plus one projectile? Uh, that seems absurd. That seems so good. Oh my god. Did Death Must Die win? Are you just starting with it? We rolled and it came up with Death Must Die. It was teeny little wedge, too. House a the bit goddess of cold. cold. Is cold any good? What if I change gods? Uh, which one is that? That's alteration, I believe. Okay, now we have Krom. Krom is kind of interesting. I kind of just want time. Does 50% increase affect his little XP nuggets? I don't remember, to be honest. What's up, Crooked Penguin? Your attack shoots more projectiles. Maybe Rampaging Strike is fine. I really just want time. Got time! Gar! <laughs> Definitely gives you Vampire Survivor vibes. This is Vampire Survivor meets like OG Diablo uh, with a little bit of Hades mixed in. It's so good. Oh, right. I forgot to dodge roll in this game too. Even faster. How many games have I died in so far? Today, zero. We just started the stream. Uh, yesterday, I think we, we went through like seven games. Seven? I think that sounds about right. You carry Justice. The face if they sure, Divine Shield. Why not? Yeah, there's also, so two other games in this genre that are bangers that I should really check out that I haven't yet are um, God of War, I've never played, and Halls of Torment are both really good, and I've just never, I've never played either of those. But I've heard good things. God of Weapons? Maybe God of War isn't right. No, we had good runs yesterday. <clears throat> so, uh... Playing Hades for the first time in four years. We made it to Hades. Uh, we almost won. We were like 25% in phase two or something like that. It was wild. It was a good run. Uh, Backpack Hero. We had a banger of a run yesterday. And then I accidentally... <laughs> and then I accidentally um, killed myself on thorns. Uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore was a blast.
Oh, my damage is bad? Oh, right, I forgot they sound like uh, cracking open a can or something when they die. Lady Justice. Regenerate life every second. There we got a little bit of sustain. Hundred percent damage. Wow. Played a new city builder I'm going to keep an eye on. I almost want you to play it to see if you can progress through mid-game further, but it feels a little broken right now. Which game is it? <clears throat> City Builders. Oh, time is back. Hold on one sec. Did I get the combo? Not yet. So, uh, Bulwark is a game that looks totally sweet that I'm really interested in checking out. United Penguin Kingdom. I We saw that trailer. That's like, I mean, I hate, it's very reductive. But it's like, what if Timberborn but penguins? Yeah, that game seemed a little feature light currently for me as well. But I agree. Uh, there's one right now called... Sengoku something or other and it's like what if medieval dynasty but in like the Sengoku era of Japan which is also an early access and is receiving like mixed positive reviews hey what's up Mr. Sarkan thank you so much for 67 like that game that game looks like something else I kind of want to check out a lot of games that are still a little early on in the development that I want to let cook a little bit more let me just play this completely finished non-early access game instead, you know? <laughs> Against the Storm is one of your favorites. It's a banger. You see the little Against the Storm teddy behind me? There it is. Gem High. We got the combo. So Gem High added with the fire breath should let me just absolutely melt everything here there we go uh fists of the north star activate it's actually really predictable um it only ever does one thing same as our summer here always looking out for you mortals i just get bonus projectiles what that's absurd. I just get three projectiles now? Why? Like, I'm not complaining. What? That's so good. <laughs> you ever want to just get a 50% damage boost for no reason? you the blessings of summer when you face death do not let fervor force your hand into revenge being impartial is a virtue you know it's not your style that i picked up nightingale a while ago well it's currently a little feature light it's amazing build i'm planning on playing uh nightingale i'm just waiting for basically what you said which is yeah, it's it's also kind of in the mix department. Oh my god, I'm so zoomy. <laughs> yeah, I really want to check it out. I think that game is going to be a lot of fun. I'm actually I've actually reached out to um, a creator I've never collabed with before. Let's see if um, there's some potential waiting for him to get back, but that might be fun. Yeah, I love survivor builders. How we doing here? Any second now, I'm actually going to get good stuff. But, I mean, I think we have enough to make it for now. We'll get stronger. Later. We're scaling. Our team has a better end game. So 
I think our comp really shines against waves. I, I'm a little bit worried against bosses. There we go. Even more AoE. Jumping back into Valheim in the meantime. Once the Ashlands update comes out, I can't actually remember what the new update is going to be. I I really, 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 uh, I've been planning this for a while. Want to do a full, full replay through of Valheim. That game is so good. Rack up on a cold one, chat. Really into Icarus? I had a great time playing Icarus. Joe Kim and I did, um, I want to say like eight-ish streams playing through together. Another projectile? I mean, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> we just get four projectiles? Y'all. Yeah, Icarus was a very fun concept. Oh, Bun Bun. Oh, wait, I just got a bonus dash? For how long? Forever? Wait, did they add that? Because there was a Chivo to get the Assassin to have four dashes. Oh, hey, it's boss time. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. See, my boss damage is actually really, really bad. <laughs> uh, time field is kind of absurd. The skill is kind of broken. I'm going to kill the boss before the fence drops. All right, it's not even worth it for me to pick up the uh, <laughs> the blues, by the way. Uh, healing gives more heal. Yep. All Life drain regen, sure. God, I'm so zoomy. You found Stardew to be too stressful. Interesting. What is this? Sure. Rude gesture. Why not? I mean, I don't know. It's weird. I guess you just have to turn off that part of your brain that you're like, I have to make everything perfect. Otherwise. Or unless you enjoy that too. I don't know what it is about Stardew, but the desire to min-max that game is like absurd. Or you can just be like the most vibes person ever. Death's arrogance will be his undoing. What are we looking here? Uh, spell duration is increased. Sure. I think that's good. Spell crit chance. Let's go. Pressure get everything done kind of overwhelmed you? I've seen too much first year completion plays to feel comfy. Yeah. I don't know. I got... I mean, trust me, that's very relatable. It's like the, uh, that's the same thing that made me stop playing World of Warcraft. Was like, feeling like I was too far behind my playgroup to bother keep playing. And even they were like, no, you're fine. Don't worry, we'll just, we'll just do whatever you want to do when you want to play. And I was like, no, I'm behind and therefore I'm not having fun. And they're like, that's just you, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> that is 100% a you problem. And like, you know what, tough but fair. Oh, the Baron's Journal. Feel like the days are too short in Stardew. Interesting. We understand. I feel that if days were 30 to 50% longer, how long would it take to get through a season though, right? I think you need a quicker turnaround. Otherwise, 
I don't know. Just like think of how quickly that adds up though on a game where uh year like seasonal scale and yearly scale matters. It's tough. Uh what are we doing here? I need to get stronger at some point. I'm gonna keep clicking on the things that don't say damage though. <laughs> I need another ability is what I need. I don't need the abilities I have to get slightly stronger. Where's the forge? Oh, cool. Uh, I'll take armor so I don't die. The elusive coral of ignoring? How do I open my inventory? I literally do not know the button to open yes. my inventory. <laughs> oh, this is a little bit more damage. Here we go. Twitch chat? Another projectile. Okay. <laughs> like, look at this. No grave robbing chat. Space warps around me. Oh, I got a magnet. Cool. The so tab opens that. How do I open my... How do I open my uh, character panel? B. B for Bimbentory. Got it. Okay. Hey, good morning, Scuba. Weird thing. The goddess of fate. Oh, the weird little bun bun house. I think this gives me max HP. Yeah, there it is. I'll take uh, 15 max HP. It's like a 10% life. Boost. It's huge. Whenever you, an enemy starts attacking you, there's a chance they become smited. Sure, I guess. I guess that's damage. Uh, let's take more armor. Gem high might be a little bit broken. Which one is that? Is that the one that makes me scale my attack or whatever? Let's go with a spell area. So I'm really proud of myself, despite working 10 to 11 hours last night. Uh, before going to bed, I actually did a workout. Because I'm trying to get back into it now that, now that like, my stitches are out and I'm trying to recover. Um, two days ago, I went and had a massage. Because I've got a lot of... Man, uh, when you do weird arm thing and then, like, you're, you know... You know when you're injured and then you, you change the way your body moves all the time and then everything breaks you? Yeah. Uh, let's take this alteration ritual. Let's just try and get a little bit stronger here. Anyways, I've got a massage. I'm back to working out. I'm up to twice a week right now, which is not where I want to be, but it's, it's better than what I was doing before. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. Um, expert reprisal, sure. You didn't know I was injured? I had um, I had a minor operation on my left arm. I have some lumps removed. Uh, and then I had 15 stitches in my arm for a very long time. What's this red dot? Mean? This, where'd that red dot go? Here we go! Wait, these are all terrible. Uh, let's just scale Breath of Fire. That skill uh, scales extremely well. Yeah, 
yeah, so I had um, I had a, a, the operation on the 14th of February. Ooh, Temporal Lord. If you would die and said go back in time, I mean, I'm not going to die, but sure, I'll take Temporal Lord because it's red. Yeah, I had the stitches out on the 28th, and it doesn't really need, like, physio to get better. But I've, I've effectively been, like, trying to work back up and to better everything, you know. Very relatable on the body mechanics. Thank you. Be thoughtful. Be thoughtful. What if I just skip your dialogue? Is that thoughtful? <laughs> dialogue rude look death isn't going to kill itself i'm a busy man i got places to be all right chest my gifts are far cooler than those of winter Hey, more fire stuff. What do we get here? And then you kill a number of burning enemies and explosion knocks people back. Uh, let's go with burning enemies leave fire when they die. Ah, the necromancer. There you are. It is extremely hard to see where the boss is, where the boss mechanics are. In fact, I have no idea where the boss is. They're over there. I think my projectiles are canceling out their projectiles. Honestly, can't tell. All I know is I haven't taken damage yet. Anybody have any idea what's happening on the screen right now? I got this book. I got these gloves. Looks like I'm winning. All right. I'm glad one of you knows. <laughs> uh, Breath of Fire. This is quite strong. This is probably going to be my main damage. I don't know. We'll see. The fact that I have like eight projectiles uh, probably means my damage is fine. All right, four minutes until the final boss. Get back from Thailand if you can find an authentic Thai massage place. It can really help you recover. Oh my God, when we were in Thailand, fell in love with Thai massage. Shield of Crumb, more spell area, please. Be a grave robber, chat. Don't do it. Don't do it. Here, peace of mind. Love it. Go to max HP. What is the red thing again? Oh, it's a sure. that ring. Why not? I love how I spend most of the time just actually running away from enemies and just finding shrines. I think this is the meta. I don't know. Maybe they changed it since I last played. Spell damage is increased. There we go. 8% more damage sounds great. Back over the cold one here. <laughs> hey, good morning, Nabora. Are we killing death this morning? We're trying. Somebody just hit me with a hammer, which is extremely rude. Giant red dot on my map. I'm gonna go explore. Where it is. It's 
just a heart? Like, what is it? Wait, now there's, now there's the red dot this way. Oh, it's a big experience orb? Oh, uh, I understand. Okay. Playing with fire, huh? There's a map? Oh, am I covering it? My apologies. Top right corner, there's a map. The one really tricky thing uh, when we when we switch between as many games as we did like yesterday and we will today is having to basically like redo my stream overlay for every game. My damage is still not quite there yet. It's getting there, but it's not there. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I'll just hide in this bubble. Can't hurt me in this bubble. Jojo, I know we said we'd cut back, but I think I need another coffee this morning. Daylight Savings was um, Monday, Sunday, something like that. Daylight Savings just absolutely ruined us. We've been having extra coffee ever since. No, Joe, it's, it's Daylight Savings time. I don't want to hear anything else, all right? Daylight savings time. We have been drinking a little bit of extra coffee. It's true. Excuses, excuses. I mean, it also helps that we have delicious coffee. All right, uh, 90 seconds until we fight the boss. I, I think this is winnable, but um, it's gonna get a little spooky. We need to try and get a little bit stronger. Just one, just a little bit stronger, bro. Just one more. Am I gonna keep saying daylight savings time until, I mean, once we move, moving's gonna be a big reset, right? And we move like really soon. Uh, I wanna say in under two weeks. That's wild to think of, right? Are you as excited for me to move back to Victoria as I am? Probably not, that's fair. Uh, how do you feel about the fact that the streams are going to start an hour later? Is that good or bad? I get a full minute of the new spell when I level up. It's great for you. I kind of like that I was starting earlier. I don't know. I'm curious about that. Not too dis different for you. Simply keep the time slot. I mean, waking up an hour earlier, it doesn't really work in Victoria because of the loading ready run schedule. Um, specifically because I have to do so many like night shows. I don't know. That's that's what makes it really challenging. Ow! I don't know if that makes sense to y'all. Simply sleep less. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Okay. I like it. Welcome to my time orb, Dracula. Wait, come back. Split the difference and start 30 minutes earlier. Now we're talking. <laughs> oh, interesting. My projectiles are also slow in there.
Right, I guess I'm weak because I'm not feeding off the souls of lesser enemies, which is why I attack so slow when I'm, uh... There we go. Yes, please give me more ads. Ads are really good for Surge. Ads make me stronger. You fool. You've activated my trap card. I didn't get to do anything too busted. It still feels like this game is in a spot where, like, death and time are just so much stronger than everyone else. Like, anyone else agree with me that I think the weakest is definitely Frost. Frost and Justice don't feel very strong. Death and Time feel just absolutely cracked. Which is too bad because you just kind of always want to end up first picking one of those as your mains, right? Why is the timer staying at 20 minutes? This boss fight starts at 20, and then you win afterwards. It's kind of like in uh, Vampire Survivor. This is the final encounter. For every 60 seconds that pass, the damage of your summons increases permanently. Uh, doesn't seem good to take right now. Hey, there you go, 4% damage. Boost. Let's go. All right, GG. Wait, I got a summon. Oh my God. <clears throat> All right, how do we do? Breath of Fire. Oh, Force. All right, Force was our main skill. It did, wait, what is Force actually? Oh, wow. My main damage source was actually Force, uh, which was the one that grabbed experience shards and pulled them into us. That did more damage than everything else combined? Really? Y'all. The legendary injustice that every other random perk you get is busted? Sure, but everything else in justice is, is defensive, which is fine. Like, I don't mind... Passive regen. I like not dying as much as the other person, but it's not it's not a build that wins. It like it takes something, you have to be doing something powerful already. But I agree. Oh yeah, we also had this Temporal Lord. Cool. All right. Game number one. Huge success. What does look up mean? Oh, I was playing on an increased difficulty too, lol. <laughs> Nice start, everybody. 40 minutes into the stream. Not only have we not died, we actually won a run. Are you ready to spin the wheel? What's left on the wheel right now? Cross the Obelisk, Bellatro, Cobalt, Cobalt, Cobalt Core. I don't actually own that game. Monster Train, Noida, One Way Heroics, Peglin, Risk of Rain 2, Risk of Rain Returns, Rogue Book, Slay the Spire, Undermine, and Vampire Survivors. Not only did we not die, we in fact deaded death. It's true. Ring, ging, 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 Bellatro. Well, well, well. Welly, welly, welly. Whoa, Northos. Thank you so much for the fifty dollar donation to charity. Finally, Bellatro time. Hey, Northos, first off, thank you for the donation to charity. Uh, second of all, would you like to mess with the wheel at all? Well, uh, we can add your vote to the next time. Uh, you can re-add a game that was previously played and removed. You could add some votes to a game. Uh, or you could just say, you know what? It's all for a good cause. Don't worry about it. Put it all on Rogue Book. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Peglin is so big now. It sure is. All right. We changed to Bellatro. If I remember correctly, I want to be about here for Bellatro. Uh, and I want chat to be under camera. 
was definitely rigged in Bellatro's favor. Took a while. I'm happy to see you select Bellatro just to depopulate the wheel. <laughs> hey, good morning, Cat Geist. Bellatro is pretty rude as far as getting a run start to go. This can go pretty fast. It's true. Yeah. You know what? Let's play on an easier mode. Make sure that the Bellatro enthusiasts get their money's worth. We're going to go with... Yeah, I love this one. This one is so potentially busted. If you're curious... Uh, I've been working through, I'm not that high up. You can see I'm at like green or black. I think I made it to blue difficulty on ghost. Yeah. It's a hard game. Hard game is hard. You could start with some bonus arcana. Uh, or I could just play and get money. Let's just play and get money. Still a little too high. Oops. Right. Yes. I remember what I have to do for this game. Pardon me. There. Full House Jaeger. Egg. <laughs> this is actually kind of tough. I'm leaning towards Space Joker. Space Joker is very powerful. Uh, the certificate's odd. Adding cards to your deck. Seals are very, very, very powerful. Seals are so broken. And the plus 50 chips is really strong. Um, Space Joker, on the other hand, leveling up your hands is powerful. Like, really powerful. It might We might still die to the first boss, uh, but let's take this and let's take Egg. And let's see what happens here. I'm going to go for a heart flush. Could also go for a high straight, but I still think I want flush. The game wants me to have a flush. All right, if we level this up, we one shot. One and four? Nope. Trying to aim for a middle straight now. Uh, or, or, full house Jaeger rides again. One and four. Dang. We missed twice. Space Joker is obviously terrible. <laughs> uh, you're pretty much expected to win this hand in two. Once you get a good Joker, this is a good Joker. This is a very good Joker. All right. Uh, I can get 600 unless I get extremely unlucky. A devil? That ain't. That was not what we're looking for. <laughs> full house. Start with a full house. Come on, level up. Three in a row. All right, hold on, hold on. Somebody is messing with the odds here. Uh, diamond flush. Diamond flush, and we're going to put the this on this. That might not be... No, no, no. That should be 300. Pretty close. Level up. Four out of four. Gambler's fallacies betrayed me, chat. Unbelievable. Statistically, I should have gotten at least one. I need the six-sided die, please. 
Uh, not discovered. 3x multiplier if poker hand... If... 3x mult if played poker hand has already been played this round. Ooh, death. Ooh, temperance. Ooh, the hermit. Uh, I don't have anything I'm really working towards with death yet, so let's just take money. And good morning, dangerous safety. Uh, sure, let's buy this. This one's weird because it wants you to two-shot bosses. We got a fool. Fool's gonna give us money. Love money. All right, let's play a flush. Have it level up. Finally! <laughs> One in five. One in five. Terrible. I don't have a build around Joker yet. Play only one hand type. Terrifying. I am so rich though. Oh my goodness. Uh, Full House Jaeger. Maybe we could play for a high straight. There we go. We'll leave ourselves open for a uh, club flush after this. Oh, we got the level up. Let's go. Two out of six. Help me keep track, friends. You think this is a build around? I don't think it's strong to have to play more than one hand. It seems weird to try and set up uh, playing a hand once and not winning because then like how do you how do you build your deck right morning yendinator uh again gentle miner don't love the pepe face swashbuckler swashbuckler egg combo oh my god So what are we going for here? Uh, I probably one shot if I get a jack. Oh, we got the level up too. 100% one shot now. We're scaling. We're scaling until we're not. Hey, look who came back. Ooh, interest card is good. Uh, we could be a face deck. Uh, let's lead with Spectral. I mean, y'all wanted flushes, so. All right, what are we? We're a spade, man. God, I have so much money right now. <laughs> Temperance plus egg is wild. Don't, I really don't like wild cards. I think they're more likely to kill me than anything. High card and straight flush, sure. Want this to be at the end? Ish. Come on, Bellatro. Ugh. We're like, hey, all right, we're going to go all in on spades. Spade cards are debuff. Man, Bellatro. It's okay. Only uh, 19 out of 52 cards are spades. It's fine. Ugh. 
What if we become a club man instead? It always happens. It's kind of unreal, actually. All right. Uh, three out of eight now. Please remember the space joker. Three out of eight. Count together with me. Uh, this seems good. This seems better than card sharp. Get more clubs. So, Burglar and Space Joker is kind of interesting. So, I could try and, like, slowly level my stuff up. But, uh, I think I'm going to keep this. Having a reliable source of tarot cards, it turns out, is extremely important. Like, so important. Uh, and this is actually, like, top, top tier scaling, these two. Uh, these three are replaceable. Just not yet. Hey, the Fool. All right, so peep this. We've completely abandoned spades, by the way. Spades are dead to me. So what I'm actually going to try and do is I'm actually going to try and go with a, uh, a low flush here to see if we can get two hands and maybe level up on Space Joker more than once. Or we'll one-shot it and miss on Space Joker. Huh? Hey, what's up, Fiona? Thank you so much for 53 months. Just wanted to say I appreciate you running this event for this charity. Yo, thank you so much, friends. Hey! Boot straps. Now, every five dollars. So, give me a second here. It might be time to ditch Swashbuckler Egg. Um, what's eighty-five divided by five? Chat. It's like seventeen. So that's thirty-four, which is potentially more than Swashbuckler. We could crack egg. Watch this. Watch this. Bam. One hundred and nine huge. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Or more clubs. <laughs> Space Joker seems weak. Hand level ups don't scale that well. Um, Space Joker's cracked. Space Joker's absolutely cracked. Sure. I hate sevens in particular. <laughs> Can't believe we missed on Space Joker again. Three for nine. If you get the dice on it. Because, like, if you're going for big endless runs, for example. Watch next must be clubs or debuff. No, that's impossible. Game would never do us dirty like that. You made us coffee, my love. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, debuffs faces. Don't care. This is a rich run. Thank you. Let's play a uh, straight here. Watch it get leveled up, even though we're a flush man. Nope, it missed. Interesting. So it turns out the money run is very pop is very powerful. Like plus 200 chips. It's absurd. <gasps> yes! Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> oh! And you doubted me. Oh, and you doubted me, chat. Oh. Oh. <laughs> now we're cooking. So I could try and turn that into a club. I'm going to grab this again, just because I like taros. Why well, is only Wheeler allowed to be lucky? What's that supposed to mean? A hand malt only nets. All right. You, it's okay to be wrong. It's okay to be wrong. This is very strong. It only nets two malt every single time. It also gives you chips, though. 
what you're what you're not imagining here is every time you play a hand you get stronger how many hands do you play how do you how do you not see the value in this who hurt you <laughs> So we still use this. We just use it like this. I actually can't tell. There we go. There's a difference between the plus two multi at the beginning before cards and times two afterwards, which is much worse. Yes, that's true too. This is the base amount, which applies to the multiplier up there too. Getting early multi two is very strong. More money. Love it. Love it. Rerolls are cheaper. Love it. Unlike every other source of mult, hand mult feeds into every other mult. Yep. Agreed. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and win this run. Uh, and you can continue to try and tell me how it's bad. <laughs> Uh, I'll just be over here winning. Don't mind me. The only thing that would make this stronger, actually, is if we uh, didn't one-shot every time. <laughs> we're, we're a little too strong. We could be scaling harder. Oh. I can't do it. I need Nega Jokers. Man, I'm really sad. This is also really fun scaling. Should be higher than 5 out of 14 now. I think we're at like 7 now. Uh, do I crack a Mega Buffoon for the chance to get a Nega Joker? What would I replace? Basically just Cardamancer? Yeah, this is, this is another 2 card combo as well. Getting there with this game, I've only won once, got to like seven last night. I feel like I'm missing something. You really need to start doing something broken very early in this game, Stiz. Uh, this is a game where you, it's all about snowballing. Uh, and if you're not snowballing and you're not scaling early, you're not winning. Uh, also something to accept about this game is it is hilariously unbalanced and you will just lose and it's not your fault. Hey, Yalk, 72 months, enjoy the brew. The, what do we call it? The, uh, the butter brew? Can you believe I was one day late to subbing for Surge for his first time? Do you sub on day two? That's amazing. Uh, I'm a little bit tempted to buy the Mega Buffoon pack. Just in case. I'm going to take a peek. I don't think there's an upgrade. I think... Cardomancer is stronger. Hey, Card Sharp is back. No repeat hand types. That's okay. Uh, the world. So there's a Joker that cares about the number of times you use tarot cards. So that's why I use tarot cards even. Wait, do I want to try and level up a straight flush? Sure. That's probably bad. I was probably just supposed to level up a regular flush. Maybe I don't one-shot it. Lol. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, we want clubs, we want death. Uh, this is kind of like death. Ten X mold for a flush? I don't think we need it. Nice. See? This is what I'm talking about, y'all. Cardamancer. Yeah, sometimes you get to a bot. Sometimes Bellatro will just be like, this run is over. We're shutting it down. And you just die. And um, there's nothing you can do about it. The issue with that is you can't lose and you have to play 10 more rounds. That is just not true in Bellatro. <laughs> Bellatro will just 
will just sometimes kill you. Uh, let's grab another tarot card here. Also, I want Nega Joker. God, if we get Nega Joker, we have so many tags right now. Okay, I need 40k. I need to hit 40k. Uh, don't love that I hit this. But whatever, more money is always good. Discard, discard, discard. Discard, discard, discard. Discard, discard. That's another straight flush. I'm actually not going to play the straight flush because I just want to level up flush flush. Okay, 40k on these hands. Make it a bit more money. Uh, if we could get another multiplier, that would also be good. More clubs. This is... Man, I wish I got an early hack sometimes. I'd love to do a hack run. All right, the way that we don't die is we start to add, like, Empress to cards here. Yeah, any any of the Jokers. Here's another tip for people who struggle. Any Joker that says re-trigger is unbelievable. Is just cracked right in half. Hey, there we go. Hey, Wheel of Fortune. Oops, all sixes. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's a combo, I swear. Uh, oops, all sixes, lucky aces. We got the 20 molts. Your favorite is re-trigger and steel cards. Red seal is unbelievably broken. Uncommon, 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 uncommon. <gasps> All right, now, now this run is over. Now this run is over. Oh, Fibonacci. Sell boots? No, that's wrong. Because we've got a couple of purple seals in our deck now. Stop it! Uh, I don't want to play a straight flush. Uh, Boots is our only source of molt. So if we get rid of that, uh, then we just have chips and level up. So keeping the cartographer and selling the boots uh, makes us lose most of our ability to win runs. Also, if we're like 1.5x on molt, doesn't molt anything. You see they released crowd control for Bellatro? Oh, Lord. Okay. Red seal? Red seal. Move boots to the front. There's no, there's nothing to change. Is there? Actually, hold on. Actually, I think you're right now. Yeah, boots to there times 1.5. Good call. Red seal works with gold. Red seal works with anything that triggers. Flush. Nice. Hey, just fits. Thank you very much for the $5 donation to charity. I really appreciate that. club oh it's not even yes it's not a straight flush either all right so now that this is at the front how much do we make off of this oh we got a level up on the flush it's at base 20 times multiplier now chat all right uh 350,000 you think that's enough Is this good?
We're not, we don't really have anything that synergizes with our kings yet. Kings and queens. I mean, honestly, if we just made our deck all, all red seal queens of clubs, it'd be fine. Uh, we lose the 1.5 multiplier. I think it makes it worse. I don't know what I'd sell for it. Dangerous safety. Thank you for that $5 dono. I think we skip it, which is a little bit sad. And we just do this instead. Cards played previously are debuffed. Interesting. I think that doesn't actually hit us that hard because our deck isn't a one trick. Uh, I want to discard some cards here. Nice. So I could do that. Oh. I'm going to leave that ace because I don't know if I've played it. It might help us kill the boss. The nice thing with how high leveled up our flush is, actually, I want to show as an experiment here. Red Sealed Queen. We're going to buy this and we're going to turn it into a... Uh, we're going to turn it into a club. So let's let's talk. Let's boogie here. Uh-oh. Please hold. Uh All right. So even with debuffed cards, when your base hand is super high, you can still crush. Which is really interesting. So like if you build your deck in a certain way, even if the game says, no, nah, no, nah, you lose because we've debuffed something, you can you can you can get around it. That's what I was trying to demonstrate there. Because I think even oh, that's another this is another completely cracked joker. Uh money tree is nuts with our money build. Anyways. That's all. That's what I was thinking. Business card, oops, all sixes is also very funny. Ooh, you know what? I, I'm starting to feel like voucher tag is as powerful, if not more powerful than uh, Nega Joker sometimes, especially as we're going into the final one here. So let's go ahead and skip that. We might actually be able to skip the boss, which is kind of funny, uh, by reducing the ante. I want to get my red seal queen, is what I want to get. I want to get my red seal queen. I mean, that is one of them. One, two, three, four. Shoot. I don't have a flush here. How greedy do I want to be? I have death. I know. I was trying to get... I was trying to draw this queen. And I want to start making multiples of that. It gets easier once you get there. So the greed play... The greed play is to copy this queen. <laughs> and then aim to turn them both into clubs later on. Uh, and then... I mean, I could win this in two. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to do it. Greed time. We're going to level up uh, one pair here. <laughs> oh, never mind. I still one shot. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Deck is cracked. <laughs> All right. Watch this. Bruh, 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 bruh. 
uh, does nothing. Uh, everything is 25% off. Tarot cards are more likely. Permanently gain plus one hand. Fall and polygraph things. Now it's time to spend money. We don't want to spend all our money uh, because we actually get stronger based on the amount of money we have. Never buy magic tricks. Ooh, plus one consumable slot. Love that. Celestial is always better. Uh, that lets us get more flushes. Does it actually just do nothing, do anything? Yes. Uh, you can later on buy a voucher that gets you plus one joker slot. And now we just need... Nope. Ooh, hanged man. <gasps> Nega vampire. Nega vampire. It's uncommon. Is it good for endless? Vampire can be amazing, but it's a build around. It's definitely a build around. Wait, I have to sell a Joker. I could just buy it and sell it. Should we take this endless? It's not really endless material right now. It is fun though. We can go a little bit endless. A little bit endless is a treat. Sure. Hey, we got a win. Pretty comfortable win there, honestly. Without even selling a Joker. And we didn't even have to sell a Joker. It's true. <laughs> Playing a flush sets our money to zero. How could they? Got there. Now, I just need to draw the one that makes everything clubs and then we're laughing. What? <laughs> Unbelievable. Game is rigged. This looks like an anti-11 deck. Yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty standard, right? Hey, what's up, Barbarian? Thank you for the 64. Ooh. The full stack. Appreciate the support, friend. All right. I need to turn a card into another card. All right. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to get the club. I bet you even money we're going to get the club. You ready for it? God! We'll get there. We got three of these Queen of Hearts in the deck now, but they'll be clubs soon enough. <laughs> we'll get the club. Just don't you worry. This is on. Ooh, more flush. I mean, I could win with the straight flush. Make him gold or steel. I mean, I could also. I just want to make them clubs, chat. Is that too much to ask? 42x molts. I 
All right, I need... I mean, I can win with basically anything in this deck. You want to win with a two pair? We could win with a two pair. We could win with a straight. All right, we've defeated the ox. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're going to get to the point where we can make this deck truly like an endless contender right now. We just haven't quite hit, you know? What? We failed the one at a we failed twice. It's unbelievable. Make club, make death. What? This is this is a fun deck, but it's uh it's probably not going to win. I mean, it's already won. You know what I'm. You know what I'm trying to say. Maybe we switch them all to hearts at this point. I don't know. Um. Uh. We can make them all steal later. What later do I keep speaking of here? What are what am I gonna get further than this? I have three consumable slots. I forgot about that actually. If I play a full house, what does it count as? Probably way lower because my full house is only level two. Whereas my flush is level 14. Hey, Cartomancer came back. And this time, shinier than ever. What's a guy got to do to get some clubs around here? Egg is back. Hey, something that cares about clubs. Oh, wait, that says spades. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Another death. All right, y'all. Maybe maybe we just switch to uh, hearts now instead. I've given up. We'll make them all clubs eventually. Clubs! Clubs! One last one. Nope. We're about to see the wheel dice interaction. I'm over two on the 50 50 wheel dice interaction. Wait, I didn't win? Uh, hello? What do you mean I didn't win? High card. Nice. Level up that high card, y'all. Oh, you mean wheel boss interaction? Sure. Is there a high card deck out there? Kind of. Typically, if you're doing the high card deck, um, what you're probably doing is... Ooh, another death. What you're probably doing is um, shenanigans with uh, Tarot. Uh, with, uh, what's it called? The Vagabond.
Level up that flush. Uh-oh. I didn't win. Oh, no. Hey, I level up pear. <laughs> Cardamancer is back again. How? Stop it. Or come back but be invisible or something. Immolate. What if I just simply destroyed this whole hand? It doesn't have any of the cards I really care about. I'm going to do it. Yes. Surge is about to die. Death comes for us all. Again, this... You have to remember, we've already won. Oh my god, so much polychrome. We've literally already won. It just won't give me clubs, chat. Seven million. All right, we dead. Oh, we so dead. It will level up flush again. Base multiplier times 34. Somehow missed on the ace of clubs with the oops all sixes. You love to see it. Another club, please. We dead. <laughs> Just need to draw a club here. There it is. All right. Probably the best hand we can put together right now. I really wish these were all clubs. Because if I got to the point where those were all clubs, that's when the decks... That's when the game starts to get really silly. Yeah, only putting up three mil hands. Oof. Uh, all right. Need a club or we die. Oh, we hit it. You know what? So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> you know what? All right. Still alive. Ooh, I could get a rare Joker. <laughs> uh, let's add an Ectoplasm here. Now we can add another Joker. Don't think it's Jojo. Oh my god. Yes! Can I please have a Joker worth buying? Oh my goodness. All right. Well, this is at least uncommon. It's not great, but it's at least uncommon. <gasps> there we go. Uh, 60x molds. So if I sell this, if I buy this and I put it here, uh, then we get the 0.5 multiplier and everything afterwards. That's not bad. Luchador for the wall? Doesn't matter. Uh, we're actually going to take all these Arcanas just to see if we can make some busted stuff happen right now. Okay, we managed to turn one of these queens into clubs. Actually huge. Uh, that's going to let us get another one. Chariot. Oh, uh, we got another one of these as a club now. Actually huge. Hey, I'm Drastrix. Thank you for 41 months. 
The meaning of life, the universe, and every... Hmm. <laughs> Three out of four misses. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Jupiter and Mars. Jupiter is good. It's more flushes. Oh yeah, the Tarot Joker is popping off. Four out of four? But my gambler's fallacy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Five out of four. Five in a row misses when it's supposed to be 50 50. Wow, unlucky. All right. All right, extremely large wall. How large are you? Hey, oh. Okay, we level up flush again. Level 20 flush. Missed on the die roll. Good. We only need 28 million. <gasps> there we go. We're getting somewhere. This could be pretty big. This hand. Now we're going to start cooking. Uh-oh. that That's the best I could do? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, that's a flush house. Uh, this is maybe bad. Well, it starts at base 14. Oh, that starts at base 44. Crap. Well... I mean, again, it's fine. We already we already won, right? That's the nice thing about Endless, is you're just trying to post a high score. It doesn't really matter what you hit here. Because it's already GG, right? Also, this was not the type of deck that was going to take this baby to the moon. We knew that. <gasps> so you're saying there's a chance. Nope. Maybe if we got Lucky Cat. Nah, Lucky Cat wasn't the issue. What we had was never that broken. Like, Lucky Cat wasn't the issue. Also, we we missed, like, every single time on any of the rolls. Whatever. Hey, you know what, everybody? That was fun. We got a W. We got to chill and party like rock stars. Still very fun. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to take a short bio break. Uh, we're back. To the wheel. Looking forward to the next one here. I will see you in just a second.
Hi, everybody. We back. All right, you ready to spin the wheel? There's a very real chance now uh, that we're going to hit a game I've never played before. Looking at looking at this section of the wheel, you know. All right, let's see it. All right, uh, One Way Heroics, a game I have never played before. I don't actually even know if I own it or have it installed. Hey! Hello, Jackie Chan. Welcome on in, friends. How's it going, Raiders? Do I own One Way Heroics? Welcome to Roguelike Roguelike, aka the Wheel of Roguelikes, where when I die, we have to change the game. And uh, we just we just finished Bellatro. We had a win there. And uh, and now I have to buy a new game. So give me a second here while I go to Steam. How's it going, Raiders? What were you up to? Thank you for stopping on by. We are also currently fundraising for a very good cause. It's true. Raising money for the Trans Lifeline. All right. One Way Heroics. 450 I accept. Do I want to buy the bundle? Mystery Chronicles. I'll just buy the base game. This is fine. Hey, what's up, Paul? How you doing, bud? Where's my shopping cart? How do I do this? You're sneezing. Thank you for the play-by-play. -play. <laughs> Anything else happening over there? How am I failing at buying something? View my cart. My cart currently has two copies of One Way Heroics in it. Hate that for me. There we go. That's not Lur Paul. No, turns out people can share names. <laughs> Is secretly Paul's going to say that they aren't? Paul, don't confuse people. Sharing names, that's illegal. I know. I know. That's why we had to fire Ben Ulmer. Or Wheeler. Take your pick, but one of them has to go. I accidentally spun the wheel in the background and it landed on Monster Train. <laughs> Please hold. Uh, currently still buying a game in the background. I bought the game. Okay. I'm so sorry. Turns out there's a lot of steps when you have like all the two factors set up to make a to buy a game. There we go. I did it. Now to install it. All right, you're back, chat. This game is an entire hundred megabytes. Unbelievable. Hey, Paul, you know something I love to see when I'm looking for a new game? Owned by Denave. What a what a huge win, right? You're like, okay, you have my attention. <laughs> there we go. All right. <clears throat> All 
Are VR games allowed on the wheel? I don't have a VR setup. I would imagine in order to play our VR game, I would have to be able to, you know, do VR. All right. <clears throat> How are we looking here? Man, this has the vibe of an old school RPG, huh? Uh, can I change? Oh, change screen size, F4. Nope. Oh, there we go. Full screen. Let's go. Start an adventure. Name. Start an adventure. Name. Surge. Class Knight. Perks? Sure. Choose a dimension. Create a random new world. Walk in the park. Demon Lord appears at 400 kilometers. Sure. Um, I know we're playing roguelike roguelike, but since I've literally played this game for the first time, we might do two runs. <laughs> Hello, Surge. I thank you for coming in our time of need. Okay. I am the king of this land, Victor. As you are already aware, this world is being consumed by an unknown darkness. It has already made its way to the gates of my castle. Please, I beg of you, find a way to defeat the Demon Lord and bring peace to this world. It isn't much, but I've prepared some items to help you in your journey. This potted herb is a mystical item which grows in a healing herb once every 12 hours. Okay. I know it's a tough journey, but we leave the destruction of the Demon Lord to you, Surge. I'll be leaving this castle behind as well. I hope we meet once more. Now it is time to depart. I use the arrow keys to move in front of NPCs. Press Z or enter to talk with them. Once you're finished chatting, make sure you move to the right. Time stops when you're not moving. How much is the donation to make Surge play a game he hasn't played before? We've been typically adding games to the wheel for 20 bucks, but if it's an expensive game, uh, I reserve the right to not have to buy it for myself. Uh, some people have been very sweet to gift me copies of the game if they really want me to play a game I've never played before. The answer is, it's for charity. It's all negotiable. I'd like to not have to spend a lot of my own money. <laughs> if it's not for charity, you know what I mean? Zed to talk. I am Judge Charisma. <laughs> And it looks like you have a charisma of one. Thank you. That's good, right? You aren't completely untrustworthy. There are at least a few people out there who may join your struggle. We're already on the brink of destruction. Leave the castle and head to the right. The battle of the Demon Lord will be drawn out fight. But even a pinprick draws blood. Keep at it. Stay here and share our fate with the castle. Wait, you don't have to go down with the ship. You could just walk to the right. <laughs> you can... Yeah. You're leaving me behind as well, aren't you? There's no way I can outrun the darkness. Okay, well, that's kind of sad. So at least I'll do my part by telling you about upcoming areas. Oh. Okay. Minimap updated. How do I open the map? Farewell, madame. I hit M. I hit tab. When you want to change directions, press and hold the arrow keys while holding C or shift. Oh, interesting. Changing directions doesn't use a turn. Oh, interesting. You may have already figured it out, but Z or enter is the attack button. Defeat all enemies that... Okay. If an enemy approaches diagonally, it's crucial to face diagonally. Oh, I can also go diagonally. Interesting. If you need to talk with me, press X or escape. Oh. What does awakening mean? Stop time for three turns. Your attack power has increased. Uh, the Great Wall. 
The skill reduces strength by one each turn in exchange for reducing physical damage to one third. Speak with Iris. H Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Iris. I'm an artificial fairy created by the King Vector. There aren't bound to many fairies around here. There aren't bound to be many fairies, so you can just call me fair if you want to. Oh, and I happen to be the one in charge of helping you on this journey. Anything I can help with. Uh, what is the clock in the upper right corner? Is a clock? The clock in the top right? That's the worm clock. Basically a timer for when the demon lord will show up. Okay. Neat. When the white hand hits 12, the demon lord will appear. It's a good idea to prepare escape items. Uh, don't I want to kill the demon lord? It's possible to enter bodies of waters and mountains. However, if there are enemies around, they get multiple chances to attack, so be careful. Interesting. Ah, uh, there's our first enemy. Aha! How do I enter? Do you need some weapons? If so, check these out. Uh, do I have any money? No, I haven't fought anything. Okay. Hope you aren't a crook. Make yourself at home. Uh, I got bad news about that. Welcome. What can I get for you? Man, I have... Oh, there you go. Free bread. Thank you. Delicious. Do you know the Jade Forest Group? They're a conservative group that hunts down poachers who kill endangered animals. It's best to avoid hunting animals that don't attack you. Okay. Ooh, a bag. Plus one healing herb. Okay. When am I going to get into a fight? Wait, a weapon. Uh, yes, I take it. Pick up. How do I equip? Oh, here we go. I have a long sword equipped. So wait for quality unknown. Oh, I still don't know the quality. All right, let's just keep this sword equipped. I'll have a backup just in case. A bird! Ow. I win. Alright, I think we found a dungeon or something. Wanted bat. Hey, I reached level two. My charisma went up by one. Sick. Uh, take, take. I have to fight it? Hold on, how do I, how do I, I, I want to just grab it. No, I have to punch. Okay, I don't have time to punch a chest. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, uh, we fell into the darkness. All right, we've learned? We've learned. Now what we're going to do is, now we're going to play a real fight. All right. You met your demise pretty quickly this time, but don't worry, it happens to everyone. Well, not to me, but you know what I mean. Doesn't look like you used your awakening ability this playthrough. You should use this ability like crazy when you're in a pinch, okay? If you're trapped behind a wall with no one or one, you might be able to use all of your awakening charges to destroy the wall and create an exit. On the next screen, you can expand your dimensional vault for the ability to carry items over to your next playthrough. Oh! Even adding one weapon can make it better. That should be enough for today. Level C, okay. Distance traveled C, battle grade C, treasure pick D. Sword was revealed to be a long sword. Short sword was revealed to be a short sword. 
<laughs> I did not murder any friendly characters. Plus five. Okay. Your hero points have increased by six. Okay. Use my hero points. Unlock a new perk. Oh, swim coach. Oh, master of unlocking. You don't have enough points. It said one. Wait, current hero points six. Oh, 50 points. Oh my God. Wait, I thought I opened this. Oh, there we go. How much is a new class? Oh, I think I'd love this game. Oh no. Post to Twitter. Open the dimensional vault. Oh, there's nothing in it. Okay. There's something very jarring and also strangely perfect about a retro game saying post to Twitter. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Somehow my body, which should have been swallowed by the darkness, is returned to me in one piece. <laughs> Maybe it isn't in one piece. My memories of my old body are already fading. It's an isekai. Well, that's all I have to say about that. It isn't much, but I prepared some items to help with your journey. Wow. I never talked to you. Knights excel in defensive abilities with clever use of human oh, healing items. Okay. It's not an isekai. It's the same world. Okay. What about... What is the type of fantasy where you're taken back in time with your memories and you can change stuff? Welcome to the dimensional vault. Oh, open the dimensional vault. There's nothing in it. Neat. Hey, James the Dabbler. Groundhog Day? Sure. James the Dabbler, thank you so much for a $20 charitable donation. Really appreciate you. called literally my nightmares brain seriously stop it Ooh, what's this area map bat got some silver I got a fruit. It's probably too late to get into that house. Combo hit. Let's go. A vial of acid. It's probably fine. We're owning. Wait, what's this? Yes. Pick up. Teleport pill. Suspicious pill that transports a player to a new location with no memory of how they got there. Only works on living objects, so cannot be used on golems or anything. Uh, I think I used that on somebody else. I'm allowed to say something? A hint? Sure. Maybe use it when I'm about to die. That's my instinct, but I don't know if that's correct or not. Ooh, plus one of vitality this time. You can destroy walls and buildings. Yep. I think it's faster to swim. Uh, mountains, huh? Uh, woo!
gaming out of our minds chat. Intellect. Weight limit exceeded. Uh oh. Uh. Do I have to attack it? How do I open this? I guess I don't, hey? V Rising's got an official 1.0 release date. Yep, I still don't think V Rising is a good Surge game though, unfortunately. Wait, what's this? You have arrived in the ruins. I've leveled up my intellect again, but I am a knight. How? How am I not leveling up like my strength and stuff here? <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our stats. Where are we? Strength two, intellect three. My accuracy is 90%, my evasion is 1%. That's very funny. Yeah, um, Surge After Dark might do a V-Rising playthrough. We'll see. The problem with, like, long-form playthrough games on that channel is I don't really want to commit to having to play every evening for, like, long, long playthroughs. But, like, I look at um, Cyberpunk 2077, I think it's called. Suddenly, a sinister force settles upon the area. The presence of many demons! This could mean trouble. Proceed carefully. Heavy armor. Sick. To drop some stuff. I'm going to drop this other big stone. Uh, where is my weight? Oh, at the top. Uh, I'm too heavy. You know what? Let's take a chance. Oh, wait. How do I open a dimensional rift? How do I send this to... Hmm. I could probably drop a, 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 a sword as well. How do I open the dimensional rift? Spear. Attack four. Thin spear. It isn't very durable, but has an effective reach of two tiles. Interesting. I'm dying? What is this thing? Phantom Knight. It's, uh, it's killing me? Oh. Better part of Valor, chat. There's a heal in this house. Oh, vitality plus one. All right, that might save Surge. Let me in. Hello. <laughs> just try and just try and hurt one of the villagers. You'll regret it. I don't want to. Otherwise, consider us friends. Are you a healer? Would you like to record your progress? Oh, you can save a game. It's fine. We're playing roguelike. 
Hearty meal, $200 reduce. All right. Gaming out of our minds here, friends. So I wonder if the armor we haven't equipped is any good. Quality unknown, weight five. So remember that this is armor three. How do I discover more about this? I guess, I guess we don't until the next playthrough. Hero, can you hear me? The Demon Lord is on his way right now. You should arrive at about the 400 kilometer mark. Make sure you're ready for your battle. Oh, I'm so ready. Ever heard of Vault of the Void? I have not. I'm dying again? Very dangerous bomb. Do 80 damage in a 3x3 three three tile. Uh... I tried to run away. <laughs> oh, neat. You starting to get used to everything now? If you keep up this pace, the final goal isn't too far. Just keep trying to increase your maximum distance each playthrough. All right, I didn't use my awakenings again. If you're trapped behind a wall, right, you can blow it up <clears throat> next time. All right. Heroic level, 21.7. I think we did better. Uh, heavy armor is revealed to be chainmail. Okay. 21 hero points. Let's go. This game is very interesting. But we died. It's time to spin that wheel. Now, James the Dabbler, Tiny Rouge. What is Tiny Rogues? I want to take a look at this game here. Neat. Love the soundtrack. Let's go. effect phrasing is that literally <laughs> something they included in their title or in their trailer that's very funny was that just one punch man legally distinct one punch man on the right there Well, we'll add it to the wheel. We'll add it to the wheel. And then, uh, how much is it? $12. Tiny Rogues has been added to the wheel. Thank you very much for your support, James the Dabbler. All right, time to spin that wheel. Hey, Yandall, thank you for the 20 bucks. 
Uh, really quickly before we spin the wheel, would you like to add some weight somewhere, my friend? 20 bucks gets you plus two to any category. Anything is fine. I'd love to suggest pathway. Oh my God, please. <laughs> very gently, very gently. Something we tried to do at the beginning of this was not just add a bunch of games I've never played before. I don't want to, I'd love that we're supporting charity. I want to say yes, but I do want to try as much as possible to avoid just adding new games I've never played over and over and over. Uh, it's either going to result in people having to buy me a bunch of games and I'd rather that money went to charity or me having to spend a bunch of my own money, which I don't want to do either. Very gently, very gently. It can't be a new game every single time, as much as possible. It also has more Surge After Dark themes. If that's true too, yeah, we want to avoid that. If that's the case, are you cool to, uh, are you cool to put that into something in here too? Peglin, love it, love it. Thank you. How you doing, Ink Slayer? Second charity stream for a treat. I had so much fun yesterday. I wanted to run it back. Yeah, as much as possible, I'd love that any money that would go into new games and stuff like that just goes to charity, right? <gasps> Wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. Risk of Rain 2. Uh, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. All right. That was, that was right on the line. That was wild to me. In we go. Last played May 12th of 2022. I think last time I played this game, I played with uh, Adam as well. Hey, Crooked Penguin. Thank you so much for that $20 charity dono. Now. We're going to have to figure out where all of my scene stuff goes. This game, I might have to do some change around. We'll see. 20 bucks to slay the spire. All right, remind me when uh, we get out of this game. This is an all-time banger. All right, chat. Engineer or Huntress? I want to play characters that I'm comfortable with. Engineer or Huntress? Krillin says Huntress. Huntress, Huntress, Engineer, Engineer. Ooh, Team Engineer is firing back. <clears throat> Team Canal. Thank you, Gunner. <laughs> All right. It's looking pretty even between Huntress and Engineer. We got any, uh, we got any swing votes? Engineers make canals. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's still so 50-50. All right. <clears throat> Play Deep Rock Galactic for engineers. What if I were to say Huntress again? Joe? She's not here to 50-50. Maybe she went for a walk to a bakery. Yes, Joe, I need you to say engineer or Huntress. Okay, Joe selected Huntress for the tiebreaker. Huntress it is. Uh, we're going pretty basic here. I haven't unlocked everything. You won't implement your solution? <laughs> what was your solution, Ink Slayer? All right, do I remember how to play this game? All right, first order business. Does it look smooth or is it all stuttery? You're going to donate money towards Engineer? <laughs> Ow. Where's my money? I can afford this. Uh, armor piercing rounds. Extra damage to boss. You love to see it. Your plan was the same. 
Uh-oh. Hey, we could just die. What do you think? Wait, no, this is the challenge one. This isn't the uh, the mountain shrine. What is this? This is the combat shrine, right? This just gets us a bunch of money. Oh, I got a coin. Right, I have to pick it up. I don't just run through it. Okay. Gonna go back to just donating towards team order. Thank you. Oh no, shucks. <laughs> it's so slow. Oh, now we zoom in. Uh, I'd rather have an item than a turret. Oh, there's um, there's a good item over here. I'll go grab that. Eh, that is the soldier syringe, which increases attack speed. Oh, crap. No, this is the 3D printer. Okay. Uh, look, it's been a while. All right. It's been a while since I last played this game. 3D printing soldier syringe is still pretty great. I think I would have preferred the bullets for the boss, but you know what? That's fine. It is what it is. Teddy. Okay. Healing item. Good. Uh... I need to find this boss. How goes roguelike roulette? Good. Uh, we got a win on Bellatro. Um, We got to play a new game, which actually seems super cozy. Oh, Ink Slayer. Thank you for the 1162. Bringing us to a total of 2,666 and 62. I don't. I probably got the numbers wrong there. All right. What are we fighting here? Uh, the Vagrant. Okay. I just have to hide over here. Ow. 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 need to make sure I have something to break line of sight for when it does its big scary scary. Alright, please don't die. Please don't die. Got there. Alright, I think we win. Nice. Uh, and then what did we get from the boss? Right, it's over here. Uh, we got the... Ooh, leeching seed. Alright, we might have a run here, friends. We got leeching seed. We've also got shark teeth. Uh, we've got one teddy bear. The teddy bear doesn't do much here. All right, let's try and get a couple more items. I thought I thought I saw something locked in this direction. Oh, it was a little turret, sure. Spend the turret money. Point to slay the spire. All right. Hopefully y'all can help me keep track of uh, three points to slay the spire once we get out. Uh, are there any items to buy here? There's a chest off in the distance there. I don't want to spend too long here because that kills the surge, but getting a little bit stronger. Another recovery item, okay. Ooh, ooh, was that a crowbar? Uh, we got a bungus, we got a banner. Uh, this is the bleed item, right? Simply chance, okay. Uh, Hoof is really good on this character. 
Game heard we change on death, so it's giving me all the healing items. Yeah. Fair. Okay, a little Gamma Shrine, and then we're out. A uh, fuel cell. Hold an equi additional equipment charge. Another booty. Uh, additional equipment charge. I have no equipment. Game? Hello? You know what? This is good stuff. If it's one of those, like, boring, powerful items. I mean, yes and no. Because it doesn't treat all characters equally, right? What's up, Aaron? You know what? Yeah, this is a continuation. I had so much fun yesterday and it looked like a lot of other people had a good time too that I thought why not why not why not run it back you know we had so many cool games on the list still wow you hit me really hard it's extremely rude uh, that's another hoof over there, which is kind of funny. Oh, oh, crit glasses. Uh, how much does this cost to buy? 53, and I have 37. Okay, uh, I also noticed this. Wait, this is a blood shrine. I want, I want crit glass. A missile launcher. Chirons to fire a missile. We got pretty good sustain. Watch me get one shot as soon as I do that. Okay, I can't hit another one. Uh, that is more sustain. Uh, this is little bombs, which is not as good on me compared to other characters, but it's fine. All right, there's one more store over this way. Let's go check it out, and then let's go find the uh, teleport thing. It's a lot of lot of beef pretty early on this level. Happy about that. Wait, two things. One's a 3D printer. More stun? Sure. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, that is a 3D printer of a Bungus. No, thank you. We should have been the engineer chat. Bungai everywhere. Horse Tome chance a kill to drop treasure. I don't actually know that item. Right, who are we fight in? Play Dune Strider. Ow. Ow! Goodness. Chance to drop money, but you have to pick it up. Interesting. Thank you, Dumbo. Does it despawn over time? Probably. Okay, we managed to clear most of the ads. We've got really good sustain. The nice thing about Huntress is we have a little bit of, like, AoE clear, just kind of naturally. Alas, Babylon, thank you so much for that $25 dono. What do we hit? Uh, jumping while sprinting boosts you forward. Wait, how do I sprint? How do I sprint, chat? What's sprinting? I've just been walking this whole time? I 
legitimate question. I don't know what sprinting is. Oh my god! Right, I forgot. This is the only... The, this character's big thing is mobility while sprinting too, right? I thought I was moving really slow. Uh, this is another combat shrine, I believe. I can't remember. Look, in my defense, it's been a it's been a while. Shrine of combat. I don't think there's actually anything else to get here. I think most of my shops got replaced with uh, 3D printers. Rediscovering roguelikes is wild. I mean, that's been such a huge part of this show, right? Has been like, what's this game? How do I play this game again? <laughs> right? <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Bevers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember this character's whole bit being uh, that they can run. What does this do again? I spend a coin to do something. Oh my goodness, I can't remember anything. All right. Now we zoom in. The fact that we lived through two bosses and didn't die when we even forgot like the core mechanic of this character is uh, feels good. I couldn't remember if the lunar coin was the thing that like teleported us somewhere or or not, right? Because like this game has so many weird little Easter eggs and like secondary areas and weirdness, you know. Start opening these boxes. Where'd they go? Uh, more glasses. All right, we got a 20% crit chance now. Love it. Love to see it. Uh, this corner is always stacked with items, if I remember correctly. <gasps> is that our first crowbar? No, it's a mystery box. I will take crit over the mystery. bomb chance on hit better on soldier but you know what we'll take it damage is damage right uh let's just take an early boss fight here actually let's buy the shop first then we'll take the boss fight crowbar you know what? i'll just take the hoof A little bit more movement speed on the character that likes movement speed. Clay Doomstrider is back. big thing this boss did is it had like a like a pull phase where it pulled you in maybe i've just been getting lucky and i haven't seen it yet but i thought i remember that being its big thing oh it's literally doing it now <laughs> all right i remember now <clears throat> gg clay dune strider clay dune strider gg All right, what do we get? Oh, is this blood vial? Yo, or infusion? All right, now we get some max HP, which is good, because I think the one thing that was going to kill us was getting one shot, because we have a lot of sustain. And now we can get plus 100 max HP, which is huge.
not super familiar with this game. We have an unreal amount of sustain. And not only that, we have like top tier sustain for this character too. Uh, between um, the shark tooth necklace, dropping health on killing enemies and blood leech, just being able to leech off of hitting enemies. We are above average in terms of what we got. This is a big chest. I like the big chest. Guillotine. Instantly kill low level, uh, low health elites. Seems good. You'll notice on some enemies now uh, that there's like a bar within a bar. Um, if you've watched League of Legends, it's the same thing as like the uh, Elder, Elder Dragon buff. Periodically release a healing Nova. More sustain. All right, more damage, please. Uh, gasoline's all right. We get a ukulele or a wisp. Then we're then we're really cooking. Want a ukulele or a wisp? Those are items that I remember being good. Oh, missed it by a just a just a sliver. Just seven minutes. That is another soldier syringe. Uh, there are items that I wouldn't want to lose, so I don't think we can take that. Personal shield generator. Okay. Wait, that's 3D print a key. That's 3D print a stunner. All right, let's gamba a bit here. Death Mask. Enemies with four or more debuffs are marked for death, taking bonus damage. I think that's good for bosses. All right. We keep going. Our gunner drone is still keeping with us, which is amazing. Uh, hey, look, the, the clay boss is back. The same boss? <laughs> All right, have you been marked for death? I don't actually know how to tell. So it's bleeding. It's got a down arrow. I don't know what the down arrow means. Please die. Got $600 reduce. I get to open this box and it contains a teddy bear. Uh, I believe the teddy bear is an 8% block chance. So with two of them, it's like eight or 10%. Ooh, another, another uh, infusion, I guess, please. Uh, that enemy right there is one of the scariest non-boss enemies in the game. Bye! Um, another goat hook, okay. I've only seen your one more playthrough of Risk Rain Remaster, and I'm surprised at how closely the games are despite being very different. Yes! I mean, they kind of all followed the same thing. That's been that's been their their thing, right? Like, there's a an interesting side by side of the enemies in. Oh, it's the Wisp again. Oh, this time there's two of them, or the Vagrant. Pardon me. So uh, one thing I need to be aware of is if I can get any line of sight coverage for the boss's big big attack.
kill it before that? Nope. Uh, ow? I got absolutely bopped by something. Hey, Cheesecake! Thank you very, very, very much for that $25 dono, friend. You're wonderful. Appreciate the support. Oof. <laughs> nice. And that gives me a Fire and Electric Nova and Low Health. All right. Proceed through the teleporter. Let's just take a quick second here and see if there is uh, any items nearby that make it stronger. There's another 3D printer. I don't really know this level that well. useless. I'm never at low health. I'm never at low health now. It doesn't mean I won't get bullied at some point and get to low health then. Oh, we got the ukulele. Let's go. That's big. That is big, big, big. A uh, ukulele is one of the best AoE items in the game. Alright, I feel strong enough to go to the next act now. And this is also a, um, a risk-reward style of game. The longer we see in an act, the harder the game gets. We're already at insane difficulty. You can see in the top right corner. <clears throat> now we need to find the ATG. Uh, what pray tells an ATG? Is that another boss? Might be. I might. I think I might actually want to go over there and fight that eye. Unless that's just a, a decorative eye. Ow. Ow. Hitting flying enemies with my uh, R attack is extremely challenging. Oh, is this a combat shrine? Let's do it. What is this? All right, I still don't have equipment. Amazing. Um, hello? Who are you? Is this the fly feather or the heal item? Oh, that's the boss. That is absolutely a boss that just showed up. We're flying, Peter. You're flying. How do I go down? Um, I'd like to stop flying, please. I'm gonna die? Actually, don't know how to stop flying. Actually, don't know how to stop flying. Uh, flying kills the surge here. <laughs> Ooh, 
please change to something that kills. Don't know what this does. Creates a quantum tunnel between two locations. Okay, I don't think that saves you either. All right, time to run away. Okay, time to run away. <laughs> Better part of Valor chat. What's down here? Found a secret area. Goodbye. <laughs> cool. I'd like to find um, literally anything else. Wait, am I just back where I started? I am. All right. Good old full circle. Okay. Uh, there's a mountain shrine up above. Why not? I can't beat one boss. How about three? How do I get anywhere on this level? I am so incredibly and hilariously lost here. <laughs> All right, I found the mountain shrine, made my way up. There it is. Uh, what in the world is Glacial Parent Horde of Many? Also, I have no idea what my, my equipment does. Oh, Lord. Oh, we dying. Oh, we dead. <laughs> you know what? That was fine. That was fine. My equipment creates a zip line. Uh, things started to get a little out of hand. Uh, on that level, we got hilariously lost. Our damage wasn't there. No, no, no. We just started to fall off. As soon as we got to this level, we got lost and I couldn't kill that boss. We needed something. And I needed it to be an equipment. And we got the wings, which almost killed us. And we got the zip line. I needed like a rocket launcher or something. You know what? Risk of Rain 2? It's been a while. Man, what another banger of a game, you know? All right. But we died. So, if I remember correctly, Ink Slayer wanted one point in Slay the Spire. We had a Last Babylon wanted two points in Slay the Spire. And get good cheesecake. I don't know if you're still there. I don't remember what your vote was for. That was fun, man. It's so funny just dipping your toes back into these games, right? Two more for Slay the Spire. All right. All right. Let's spin that wheel, friends. Ring, 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 ring. All right. This is another game that I have to buy. We have to stop. I can't afford buying all of these games. How much is Cobalt Core going to cost me? 20 bucks? Oh my goodness. All right. I have to I have to say I, I can't have any more new games. Somebody offered to buy it for me yesterday. You can gift it to me. I would actually really appreciate that. That'd be very sweet. 
Worth every penny. All right, we'll stretch for time in the meantime. I know that people the other days offered it to, but that was a different day, so I didn't want to assume they were still here. How do you do so? Uh, you can use my email through Humble or something like that, Mr. Sarkhan, sergeager at gmail.com. Thank you very much. Thank you as well, everybody who's been hanging out. Thank you for all the money that we've raised for charity. You're all amazing. I appreciate it. This and Roguebook were the only other new games. Uh, Tiny Rogues is a new game. Oh, pardon me. Hold on, if you walk over items in Dreadmore, you pick them up automatically. I think that's a setting you turn on or off, uh, Max. Working on it now. Thank you so much. In the meantime, how's it going, everybody? Are you chilling? Are you partying like rock stars? How's your day going? So yeah, the uh, roguelike roulette is absolutely something we're going to have to bring back in the future. I think this is kind of like crowd control Minecraft, the sort of thing that... We're going to save for a special occasion. I think part of the charm of this is not doing it too often, but this is a very good time. And apparently every time I do this, my Steam library is going to grow. <laughs> I'm normally the kind of person who only has like four or five games installed max. Look at this. Ugh. Uh. Vibin, love it. And Serge's Steam library grew three sizes that big. Yep. <laughs> Just about to finish work. They'll be cleaning things up for a while. Nice. Could hardcore Minecraft be considered a roguelike? Yes and no. And much like, you know, PUBG could be considered a roguelike and stuff like that or any of the battle royales. I think the other thing, it's not technically do the rules count it as a roguelike or not, but is the vibe there, right? Like against the storm. Uh, any of the games that I could accidentally play for years without without the run ending, I don't think I would I would include in the wheel for this, right? Uh, they are billions, for example. Like an eight hour run would be a thing, and you're like, I don't. I want to make sure there's a very real chance of death, right? I think a good a good definition of a roguelike is also does it have a victory condition that also ends the run? You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not hopping on the Chandelier train. I have none interest in that, but I'm glad Wheeler's been having fun. <laughs> yeah, we'll respond to some uh, Lur Slack messages. Sorry, what's that, sweetie? Joe's saying lunchtime soon? Sick. Dwarf Romantic and Islander? Uh, not the right vibe. Those are too chill, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like there needs to be a certain amount of chaos in this stream as well. And Dwarf Romantic would just be like, ha. Ah. I don't see it on Humble or Steam. It looks like it. I can only gift gifts to friends. I can send you 20 bucks through your donate if that works. You know what? If you donate another bucks to charity, I would... Uh, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Let's buy Cobalt Core, y'all. Oh my God. Speaking of, wait, wrong button. Oh no. How do I view my shopping cart? I feel like Steam changed something in their store and I have a harder time buying stuff now. Where is my shopping cart? So we uh, we switched accountants recently, and as a small business, a, a small self proprietary business, I believe is the technical terminology. I've been kind of making things up as I go. Right, I I do not have a fancy uh, a fancy business plan 
Uh, I don't have like a coach that's helping me walk through a bunch of stuff. I'd kind of been hoping that my previous accountant was going to be, you know, taking good care of us and stuff like that. Mr. Sarkhan, thank you for that $20 donor charity. Appreciate that, friend. Anyways, long story short, we switched accountants and our new accountant has taught us about something, something called depreciable business assets, which is going to save me like thousands of dollars on taxes this year, which I could have been saving for years and years, which is kind of a bummer that, um, anyways, I'm, that's really exciting. That's all. That's the story. That's my story. Cool story, Serge. Hey, Mr. Sarkhan, 20 bucks for Surge and 20 bucks for charity. Thank you so much, friend. Basically, thank you, Mr. Sarkhan, for buying Cobalt Core. My computer is an asset depreciates in value over time. Yeah, I had no idea. I had no idea. I don't know how much I'm going to save right now. Not just my computer. My computer, my chair, my lights, my microphone, my camera, which I had to spend $300 to repair. Apparently, I've got like $6,000 in appreciable assets that I could be writing off. Joe's computer, Joe's desk, exactly. So video games aren't depreciable assets, but I do write them off as business expenses, yes. Uh, give me a second here, friends. Uh, this looks like a game that is going to be a pain to set up. Whenever a game is flashing black like that in the background, uh, that's showing I'm having issues with screen capture, so I have to set this up. What is this? Is this a grilled cheese sandwich using Parmigiano Reggiano because we're out of melty cheese? And feta? I love you, sweetie. I'm not gonna eat this. A grilled I I I do I am not a feta kind of guy. Why don't we why don't we call an order and take out or something, my love? We have a phone. There's all kinds of places that'll deliver. No, I don't want a grilled... Parmigiano Reggiano is going to burn my mouth. That's too much to eat. I love you. I love you. We could have discussed this ahead of time. Uh, we, delivery. Uh, the apple. I want you to know that Chad is mad at me that I'm not immediately snap eating this sandwich. Joe's, it's like, Joe's also like, yeah, it's a very firm feta, y'all. Y'all. It's not even melted. It's solid. It didn't melt because it's too firm. That sandwich actually sounds so good. It sounds way too sharp for me. Look, I love Joe's so much. I'm going to take one bite of this and my mouth is going to get so dry, it's going to die. It's going to hurt, right? Like my the inside of my mouth is going to crack. I'm going to go give Joe a hug. I'll be right back. Hi. I'd like you to know that Joe and I still love each other. All right. Literally clicking Cobalt Core for the first time ever. A 
I'm okay, sweetie. Oh! Inkslayer with a $25 dono. Here, have lunch on me, but I'm also mad at you for at least not trying it. Joe! Inkslayer just, uh, yeah, that's very sweet. Thank you, friend. All right, there's a weird space cat. Hello, space cat. Wake up. Oh, my head. Am I Perry the dinosaur? Good. Your vitals seem stable. Wait. Is my name Dizzy? What's happening? I had to wake you all up from cryo sleep. There wasn't enough time to fully restore your memories. My memories? I needed those. I assume. <laughs> I had no choice. The command terminal will only respond to meat-based life forms. What'd you call me? And there's a ship off the bow, powering up their weapons. Everyone to the bridge. Now. Play five cards to outwit your opponent. You draw five cards each turn. Click to continue. Each card costs energy. A card's energy cost is shown in the top left. I mean, oh, there, top left. Okay. You get three energy each turn. Use it or lose it. Energy doesn't last between turns. Uh, attack an enemy with your attack card. That sounds great, sweetie. You can always see what an enemy is planning to do. This enemy intends to attack you for one damage. Let's go ahead and block. You've still got one energy left. Play the rest of the turn yourself. multi-shot. Can I move? I guess I don't know how to move yet. Pew, pew. Out of energy. End the turn. Yikes! Big attack. Let's continue. Oh, basic dodge. That's how you move. Uh, we can evade an attack by playing this. I move to the right one. You've got the basics down. Remember, you can always hover over cards for more information. Oh, there's also a lunge. There's a scramble. There's a draw shot and a block shot. Wow, draw two? That seems very strong. I don't want to shuffle my deck yet, uh, so let's just do that. Uh, this enemy has a lot of attack, a lot of health. Pew! Uh, it is now trying to apply a status effect to itself. Missile Bay. The enemy is going to raise their shields. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, it's dead. Pick an artifact. Artifacts are held by the ship's crew and change the rules of combat. Uh, warp prep. Gain one shield and one evade on the first turn. Cool. Pick a card. Momentum. Gain one shield plus one for every time played this combat. Scoot. <laughs> uh, big fan of scoot. Uh, let's take momentum. Oh, I'm starting to remember. Yeah, this is a deck builder. This uh, this game has been described to me as FTL meets Slay the Spire. I would have preferred it with Scooch, but uh, Scoot's pretty good. Ah, the Cobalt, the Hyperdrive. Yeah, you blew it up. Maybe. I vaguely remember pushing a button, and then there was a white light. Yeah, you blew it up. Guys, shut up. You have this argument every loop. I've heard it 517 times now. Oh, yikes. All right, we've got the coordinates for the Cobalt programmed in. Let's get there and stop the time loop. See? Riggs remembers, usually she's the last one. I'm improving. <laughs> All right, uh, repair yard. An unusually strong enemy. Rewards an artifact and a card. Uh, yeah, let's go take an early elite. Why not? So I have one momentum. So if I shoot, I miss. Interesting. So I can scooch, shoot, lock, lock. Lock. 
Now they're going to hit me for four. Uh, the enemy has gained a status. Auto dodge. If fired on, it will completely move out of the way right. Decreases by one every time it triggers. Goes away at the start of the next turn. Uh, so I can make you go away. Oh, you dodge first. Oh. I'm going to take one here, but it was worth it. Was it worth it? <laughs> kind of feel like I took one damage for nothing. All right. Uh, draw shot. I'll take six. I can't deal five to it. Uh, I can block four. One... Wait. Apparently I cap at the amount of block I can have. That feels bad. I'm dying, y'all. So it's interesting that block carries over, other than the red block. It's a block for two, so I want to hit. <sighs> Joe made me an English muffin, friends. All right, so it's going to dodge. All right, I'm absolutely getting outplayed by this enemy. <laughs> okay, I will kill you now. One. I need to draw. That was the wrong card. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is, everything is fine. This game is too bu this game is too hard. There. <laughs> Draw 2 plus 2. All right. Oh, I skipped through dialogue. Ah, y'all again. An extra planar beam. Neat. What do you value most? Healing, damage, or evasion? Uh, damage? Ephemeral blast. Single use. Playing this card completely removes it from your deck. Healing. Single use. Playing it removes it from your deck or evasion. I'm going to go for damage because we're about to go into an elite. Then it is yours. Thank you. All right, let's go kill this boss. Ooh, what on earth is that ship? Look how many guns it has. It has so many guns. Hey! Did you guys know there's a big bounty out for a ship with your registration number? We didn't. Thanks for letting us know. No sweat. Well, we better get back on our way. No. All right. This part is brittle. It takes double damage. You mean like this? <laughs> What's up, sweetie? So if I can move over one, I can blast for lethal. This should kill. Oh. Man, why is Twitch having so many issues lately? 
I'm still here. Alright, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna eat this English muffin while I wait. Let me know when you're back, y'all. Are you back? Y'all, I feel like this is happening once every day, you know? What does this mean? Power drive adds one damage to all attacks. Hurt, lose one hull. Yikes. Um, energy battery seems wild. Hey, what up, Mr. Bevers? Thank you so much for 51 months. Hi. Twitch issue happened to all other streams as well. Oofa doofa. All right, artifact. Energy refund. Gain one energy every time you spend three plus energy playing a card. I interpret that to be if I have three energy cards, they only cost two energy, is my thought. All of Dizzy's card attacks deal plus one damage. Wait. Oh my god, can I see my deck? That's what the color is. I thought the color was rarity. Oh, so blue or dizzies. Oh my God, y'all. Really? So if this was for Perry, it'd be nuts. I don't actually have any dizzy attacks. So that does not, I have blank shot, block shot. So that seems bad. That seems bad. That seems bad. Um... Rebound Regent. Once per combat, when you lose hull, heal one. That seems good. Howdy! How's it going? Hi, Cleo. Oh, you know, same old. What's this? Loop 400 or something? 517. Well, let's get you on your way. Can I repair anything? Uh, ooh, upgrade a card. Can I see what the upgrade looks like? Two damage... Oh, two damage, two draw, or one damage, three draw. Draw one, gain a shield. Wow. What is this? Ignore all armor and all shield. Wow. Uh, it's basically ancestral. Heck yeah. An artifact. An artifact. Uh, let's head towards another... There's a heal immediately afterwards. Let's head towards another elite. Armored Bay. On pickup, your missile bay gains armor. This part takes one less damage from all attacks. Okay, I don't know where my missile bay is. Is that my missile bay? Hold on. The enemy is going to launch an object. We don't know what it is yet. Oh, that part's armored. Okay. So I probably want to completely dodge. If I dodge to the right... Is that hitting me? I think that still hits Surge. Objects in mid-row are between you and the enemy ship and can block attacks. They're much weaker than a ship and will be destroyed if hit by anything. I don't know how much that's going to hit me for and I can't move. So I'm going to fully block. How much does this hit me for? None. Good. Good. All right, let's move. Genius. Can't keep getting away with it. All 
I appear to not have any move. Which means I'm going to hit three here and six total. Uh, which is bad. Which is bad. Okay. Extremely rude. Where'd all my attacks go, y'all? Oh, I can play prepared again. Wait, we're going infinite? <laughs> all right, die. I have one energy left. I'm currently blocking enough. I want to scooch over to the right. Where'd that go? Wait, I'm going to take a bunch of damage again. Shoot! Alright, we're still learning, y'all. We're still learning. Add a wave beam to your hand. Piercing attack. What's the magnet do? Retain. This card is not discarded. Oh, sidestep plus one. There you go. That's what we need. Holy moly. Button mash. That's so funny. All right. There's a pirate hailing us. How can you tell they're a pirate? They have a big skull painted on their hull. Ah. Surrender and drop your shields or I'll drop them for you. Um, no. <laughs> have it your way. <laughs> Ooh, there's obstacles now. Watch out. If this attack hits you, it'll give you a status. Uh, I don't want that. Aha! You fool. The enemy is going to raise their shields. Cannot exceed their max shields. Okay. So, uh, shoot, 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 basic shield. I love that armor carries over. What an interesting mechanic. So I want to scooch over to this way. And then I want to, wait, that scooches me to the right. Shoot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I've made a mistake. Heat. Oh. Excess heat. If heat is three or more at the end of turn, overheat. Take one to hull damage and reheat. Hull is okay. Heat is zero. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Let's scooch one to the right so I can shoot you back. And then I want to shoot, shoot. And I want to shield surge and basic block. All right. Now we're going to shoot. And then we're going to shoot, shoot, and then we're going to scooch one to the left. How am I doing, y'all? Do I feel like I'm learning? Doing great. Game's hard. Do I have four damage here? I have one damage. Do I have three damage? I do! GG.
plus one energy turn one and um, two evade turn one are both pretty strong. I'm going to go with energy and just try and get more card draw from my deck. Hey, can I get you anything? Uh, I only get one of these, huh? Let's remove a card from the deck. Do I want to remove a card or do I want to upgrade a card? If I can get block. I think one of these things had block and draw, which was kind of wild. Where was it? Move right and draw a card? That seems wild. Let's take that. Draw a card is very strong. All right, we're fighting the boss for the first time ever. Rigs! Are you picking up any hostile ships on radar? No. No. Why? My sensors are going crazy over here. Let's see. No. No warp core signatures within a light year. Wait. Switching sensors to visual. Ah! Big crystal. W what? Big crystal. You know, big crystal. Any questions? So uh, I can move over to the side and only have to block one. That's not how that works. Neat. All right. <laughs> uh, appear to be taking three. If I go this way, I'm taking two. If I do this. Ideally, I draw a block card. Dodge is like a block card. Taking two. Taking none. Scaling that. Scooch. Uh, no, shoot. It's fine. Block shot basic shot. It's a big crystal. It's a pretty big crystal. Currently taking five. Uh, currently full block. No, currently not full block. Currently full block. So it looks like uh, when you get evade, you, it carries over as well, which is kind of cool. Remember that I have one armored spot. I had forgotten that. So I'm currently taking three. Currently taking none. Uh, let's scale this again. Currently taking five. If I sidestep and draw a card changes nothing. I'm only taking four. I'll take one this turn. Because one, two, three, four, I'm taking five, so take one damage total. Taking two, taking none. All right, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I could, in theory, draw into my five block card. I missed. I'm displeasing the crystal. I'm the one that's displeased, Matt. Thank you very much. All right, that's a full block. One, two, three, four. Yep, good. Please stop being so aggressive. You know what? This momentum is scaling up with the boss, though, which is kind of huge. I mean, not really, because my block caps at four. I'm going to die. Okay, this is bad. Uh, let's get out of the way of the four attack. 
Okay, now I'm only taking four. And if I do this, and I do this, and I take one. Uh, we're slowly dying, chat. Ah! <laughs> I need to scooch. Uh, I think we die. Because even if I get seven block, I can only have four, right? Have I tried not dying? Tell me your secrets. Lunge over two. That's bad. We tried. All right, important rule here. Important rule here. If it's the first time I've ever played a game, I get to do two runs. <laughs> so we're going to do one more run because I've never played this game before. Right? That was the learning run. Now is the run. System time corrupted. Please. Oh, bonus hull. Upgrade two random cards. Wow. Uh, remove a card, then gain one of three common cards. I'm going to upgrade two random cards. Scramble plus three. Shield plus... Nice. Love it. Love it. All right. We would take two damage. Joke's on you. We're slaying? You would hit me for three. Ha, you fool. That's just what I want you to do. Hey, Beowulf, thank you very, very much for 48 months. I really appreciate that. I hope you're having an amazing day. I love rigs and rigs and also four year anniversary. Uh, can I deal five damage? One, two. Look at this. Gaming out of our mind right now. Uh, momentum is back. Let's escalate. Add one damage to all attacks. All right. Where are the elites at? Up top? Let's go. And then we've got... It's neat that the shops are free. So this, this is a hard route. Elite... Upgrade or remove. Elite, upgrade or remove boss. Mobility feels good on this game. Yeah. I'm going to hit this button. Then I'm going to hit this button. And then I'm going to hit this button. This is the one that zooms everywhere, right? Oh. 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 <laughs> I uh, I anticipated that I'd try and hit them, and then I that you know we'd we'd all do the same Kansas City shuffle there. You know what I'm saying? Learning. I'm learning. <laughs> Options. Evade one, draw two next turn. Oh, I'll take another draw shot. 
Lunge seems like a tough card to use, 100%. Time to use that evasion now. Uh, no. All I know is violence. Shield Surge. Pew! <clears throat> Look at this guy gaming out of his mind, y'all. I have one mobility. Hello. You fool. You absolute melon. You've activated my trap card. And plus one damage would be kind of big. Goodbye. What is the plus one? Plus one heal haul? Oh. What's this button? Deals one haul damage at the end of every turn. Acid cannon. Oh. Um, do I want a big attack? seems worse than just getting more draw cards, if I'm honest. I'm going to take the battle repair. This part is weak. All right. Now, the issue here is uh, I don't really want to take four to hit it. Corrosion ignores shield. Interesting. Why didn't somebody tell me that before? <laughs> I was just more thinking about the fact that um, one damage is one energy right now, and that was three damage with three energy, and I didn't get to do anything else on the turn, which seems kind of bad. If I move over two, three hits me there. I am lined up for the weak point, though. I have one block currently. I would need four block. I have four movement. That's three block for one energy. I like that. You know what? Let's get, let's start that stack in. Is that full blocks? Now they're only hitting me for two. Uh, and I've got some block shots here. Uh, currently taking five. I hate that. I'll take one because I've got the card that lets me heal it. <clears throat> I think you just die. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. No, I expect you to die. Stun charge. No. Sidesteppy. Uh, Sidesteppy was good. Another battle repair. Oh, for the rest of this combat. Oh, it comes back. All right. Elite time. You watched me all day yesterday. Wasn't even following. What about now? Hey, you again. All right. Uh, I will take zero damage. Thank you. Hey, Autumn Autumn, thank you very much for gifting him a sub. I appreciate that. Let's move over one 
block shots, I'm about to take a lot of damage. How about none damage? Uh, that looks like a lot of damage again. Sidesteppy. I'm a little green bean. Yes, you are. Welcome, my little green bean. So you're about to overheat me, which I dislike. So let's do this instead. Uh, you're about to hit me for four. Hate that for me. I'm still about to get hit. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, what if, what if, no. Ah, I made a mistake. Well, I'm gonna get re, I'm gonna get overheated here. I'm gonna try and set up the, um, try and set up the heal here. Sustain mid fight. Uh, taking three. I hate that. Got two mobility. I need a third mobility. All right. No dice. <clears throat> Instead, violence. Hey, what's up, picks? This should be lethal. Whenever I move, move one further. All right, y'all are saying I should try out this whole corrode thing. Deal one hull damage at the end of every turn. The status will be applied to the enemy wherever they are. Exhaust. That's kind of cool. Let's give it a try. Fracture detection. One enemy part is made brittle at the start of the fight. This part is not marked as brittle until it's damaged. Interesting. Piercer. Your first turn pierces. Okay. Uh, grazer beam. Every time an attack misses the enemy by one space, the enemy takes one damage. Oh, interesting. Oh, corrosion always sticks around. It doesn't go away like you might expect a poison. I definitely thought it went away. Uh, what do you think? Pierce or fracture? Right, let's go with fracture. The enemy having a weak spot seems kind of cool. Sharp edges. Every time you discard piles shuffled back into your deck, the enemy loses one hull. Permanently gain plus three max HP and heal three on pickup. Yes, that seems huge. Um, let's get a card upgrade here. Hey, sup? Can I get you anything? What does upgrading this do? I like one energy becomes one poison. That seems very strong. Now what we want to do is we probably want to start thinning our deck and drawing that as much as possible. Grazer is for all those times I'm off by one. That's impossible. I've never been off by one in my life. Hey, look, target practice. All right, that's their weak spot. I'm currently taking three. I'm currently taking one. I'm currently taking zero. Currently taking two. Uh, that looks like six damage. Bad. So, let's scooch over one. <laughs> uh, draw a better block card. That was literally the block card we needed. Okay, I haven't played this yet. Is this another run? Uh, the rules are fast and loose, you know? Oh, 
These are the two brittle spots. Nice. Good to know. Block shot. Uh, let's give ourselves a basic dodge. Yeah, on games that I've literally never played before, I've given ourselves... I've given us the rule of... Uh, we're allowed to test some stuff out here. GG. That was a zero damage boss fight, I believe. Or maybe I took one. Vamoose! Instantly move three directions at a random spot and adds four evade. That's very funny. Endless magazine. Gain one chip slot. What does that mean? Oh, it gives us a free attack. Neat. Block up to two damage for one energy. Uh, and gain one energy next turn. That seems wild. That seems like a very good block card. All right. Grazer Beam is back. Uh, quick draw. Draw two cards in the first turn. Adaptive Plating. Gain plus one max hull and get heal one every time you defeat a boss or an elite. I Yes. That seems incredible. Can I get you anything? I want to remove a card now. I think I want to remove basic block because I have block, 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 block. Uh, actually, I think I want to remove basic attack because I'd rather attack draw or attack lunge. I was just holding you back. It's true. All right, let's fight the boss. Giant Crystal. Let's go. Oh, I found their weak spot. Let's go. What are the chances? <laughs> All right. Uh, take two so that I might continue to kill. I got the poison down on it, y'all. Taking two. Shield me. What do you mean that was lucky? Calculated. Game of skill, no luck involved. Everybody knows that. Made the best wizard win. for five? That's illegal. Can I kill here? I'm taking five. This actually full blocks. Wait. That full blocks and then I don't have to move. And then we kill next turn. Uh, this appears to be a zero damage boss fight. Let's go. Hi! How you doing? Second opinion, draw one card for each color from your draw pile. That seems extremely good. And it's free? Uh, yes. All right, simplicity. On pickup, remove three cards. <gasps> uh, replace warp prep. Gain three shield and three availed on turn one. What is warp prep? Gain one shield, one evade on turn one. Three shield and three evade on turn one. That's very good. I imagine I get to pick three cards. Demon Thrusters. Gain one evade every turn. You can no longer have more than three evade at a time. All right. That's the first time you guys managed to beat that thing. Wait, really? How many times have we tried? Yeah, you don't want to know. <laughs> what even was it? If these readings are correct, I think it's some kind of time crystal. I've seen microscopic ones in the lab and in the cobalt's particle accelerator. But never one so large. It's so big. Did the microscopic ones try to kill you? Um, not in a way that I was able to perceive, no. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Wow, I love this. 
Act two. Welcome to the Sapphire Cluster. I would expect it to be more blue. The nav system is taking us through this lawless sector. This zone is full of pirates, thieves, and smugglers. Like the last one, everyone should have their sidearms on them at all times. I get a gun? Everyone but you. <laughs> all right, what's this? Power drive. Add one damage to all attacks. That's not their weak point. Give Riggs a gun. Is that a good idea, y'all? Uh, one and two and three. And a pass. Oh, every turn it scales. One. And a two, and a three, and a pass. <laughs> Joe's like, Serge, you sound like Corrales doing warm ups. <laughs> Four damage. Have I found the weak spot yet? Sure haven't. Are you the weak spot? Yes, I found the weak spot. Another momentum. Uh, options seems great. Uh, this status will be applied to the enemy wherever they are. Shield becomes zero. Stun, I don't know. Instantly end their turn. Oh, this is um, this is Vault. I'm going to take options. All right. Now, we can take the low road. We don't get any card remover upgrades. If we take the mid path, we can do upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. But then we don't get any relics. I'm a sucker for relics. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the low road and uh, see if we die. Currently taking four damage. What does 99 mean? Whenever the ship is shot, the part that was hit gains armor for the rest of the turn. Oh. I poison you. Wait, oh, that's its brittle spot. Wow. What if I do this first? Uh, only the first one lands. Interesting. Scooch. Wait, I don't have enough block. I'm gonna take two damage here. Should have been paying attention to block. I was really focusing on trying to damage them. All right, they're going to hit me for two. Let this poison damage slowly tick them down, you know? the double shot that makes sense one shot clears it okay we're learning a lot y'all we're learning so much uh do i want to move into the path of combat i really don't let's take two let's battle repair we're slowly poisoning him to death so this is fine uh i'm gonna scooch to the right we're gonna do this and we're gonna do this Hello. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. I mean, we came out with full health. It wasn't a clean fight, but we won. Uh, attack for zero. Each time this card is drawn, this fight, add two. But it exhausts. 
but it exhausts. Am I supposed to fill a deck with charge beams? Is this the uh, is this the pressure points of Cobalt Core? Like, <laughs> what does this do? Oh, you don't play it. You just let it cycle over and over. Ah, uh, I'll try it. <clears throat> Exhaust is good though. Uh, not necessarily. Ooh, Vertigo. Ah, you again. An extra planar beam. Neat. What do you value? Uh, give me that damage. Give me that damage. Then it is yours. Thanks. Right before the elite. You love to see it. All right, we got some kind of weird spaghetti monster. This enemy is going to give you a card. This can't be dodged, so get ready. Okay. I uh, hate that for me. Starting with four damage. Starting with none damage. Let's get this scaling. Let's add another dodge. Uh, sorry, what did you just give me? Yeah, you're just gonna fill my deck with goo. I know you. I know you're kind. You can move over one and block and hit. Oh, we found its weak point. God, I'm a strategic genius. Ah, <laughs> uh, glurp, glurp. One, 11. So this hits for four. Four, six, eight. I just have to draw one more attack. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That has how many hit points? Uh, nine. Two. Yeah, that ain't enough. That's fine. Uh, we're just going to go uh, scooch. Just going to scooch on by you there, bud. So if I have two move. One, two. Uh, I have one, two, I have six damage. Uh, six damage is not enough to win. Oh, I have enough to win. Charge beam! Card's perfect. No notes. Barrage. One, and then scooch, and then one, and then scooch, and then one, and then scooch. No. Plus one shield capacity. That seems amazing. Yes. Shield reserve. Permanent gain plus two shields. Oh. Uh, all of Dizzy's attacks. Man, does Dizzy ever get to attack? Uh, they have block shots. Okay. Uh, Daka drum. Every five parry cards played gain a chip. No. I'm going to take a shield reserve here. Shields are good. I agree. Watch out. If this hits you, it will also give you a card. Stop. There's no ship part here. It's empty. Oh, interesting. There. So I want to shoot here. I understand. I found its weak spot, chat. My attack does massive damage. Oxygen leak. Draw minus one cards per turn. Uh, rude? Extremely rude. Charge beam is back. I 
I only have one move, so I can't move over and charge beam for massive damage. Uh, this is fine, though. Mm -hmm. Also, it appears that they put this onto the top of my draw pile because I'm drawing it every time. Which is um, extremely rude, I believe is the word we like to use here. Try to position myself so we can get the kill here. And we didn't draw any attacks. <laughs> oh, look at you with your big moves. Oh, it's homing. Oh, that's kind of cool. It can't miss. Uh-huh. I only have one move. I can't line it up. I think I still win. Let's go charge beam. I mean, there's a there's another dizzy attack. Let's just skip here. Try and keep our deck a little bit leaner. Ricochet. When you shoot an incoming missile, turn it around instead of destroying it. Hilarious. Uh, whenever you have no cards, draw a card. All right, let's take the ricochet paddle. That sounds so funny. Just bonk it backwards. Hey, another another one of y'all. Very exciting. We did not find the weak point. Uh, let's let's charge up our momentum here. So there's only four options. What about you? Are you the damage? Are you the weak one? No, the weak one is off the left somewhere. Taking three, let's battle repair, get our health back up. So it's not these two. So maybe it's to the left. You hover over, it'll tell you the number. Yep, we've been doing that. I want to get, I want to attack your left side and you're hiding from me like a coward. <laughs> How am I supposed to feel about this? I'm going to move into oncoming damage just so we can, just so you can stop running from me. I want to hit these two. Yes, finally. Are you the weak one? No. My process of elimination. How's Cobalt Core treating you? This game's awesome. I am really enjoying this. This game is mega fun. Rare. Uh, the amount of other cards in your hand. Attack times X? So that's one attack. I uh, It's too smart for me. Ooh, evasive shot. Ooh, evasive shot seems very good. You don't even like deck builders? You play this game from start to finish? Amazing. If you end your turn with more than zero shield... Wait, if you end your turn with more than one energy, turn shield. Oh, that's cool. Uh, every five, get a chip, exhausts, or the first time you lose hull each turn, gain one overdrive. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. You like that one. The dodge card? Sorry, which one did you like? Attack. So the damage is equal to attack in hand? That's the part I didn't quite understand. Uh, I don't have any attacks. Fascinating. Uh, did I not scooch over one? I thought that was supposed to turn around. Oh, it applied a status effect on me. Thank me. Thank you. 
So what you're saying is I'm supposed to read everything? Oh, exhausting. Three damage. Let's turn you around. If I scooch over one, I can shoot you and not get shot. Love that for us. That's its weak spot. Can I draw? Can I draw the beam? Need five armor. This is fine. Goodbye. Alright, got rid of the movement debuff. If I move over one, uh, I still have charge beam, but that's fine. Maybe I draw it? Got him. Got him! Or did I? Yes. Alright, we're cooking. We're cruising. Move to the left, attack for two, move to the right, one. No thank you. Boosted capacitors. Adds shield capacity, blocks for two. Uh, that's fine. Orca Orcanist, thank you very, very much for the 43, friend. Really appreciate you. Glad I got here for the belated stream anniversary. I'm glad you're here as well, Orca Orcanist. I hope you're having an amazing day. How's the ship running? Oh, as good as can be expected. By which I mean bad. <laughs> can I help you with anything? All right, let's look at upgrades. What is the change here? Free? Draw from discard, draw from exhaust. No. Wow. Oh, and then remove it from your deck forever. Okay. Uh, this stacks faster. Oh, this removes it. Uh, or this gets rid of exhaust. It's kind of funny. This seems to be our win con. Really digging this. Just read everything else. Momentum draws a card. That's huge. What a huge upgrade. And then it exhausts. Wow. Wow, that's a huge upgrade, actually. Let's take that. Nice. All right, let's fight the second act boss, shall we? Hey, I'm being hailed by a pirate in a cruiser class warship. Hi. Hello? Oh, boy. What is it? Put it on screen. Sure. Oh, hey, it's you. Hey, it's Evil Rigs. Wow. I used to be soft. This should be easy. Uh, this part is combustible. Any shots that hit here will cancel this part's intent this turn. Hey, Scuba! Thank you very much for the $8.10 dono. We're getting some team orderness right there. Love it. Oh, it's a mirror number. Oh, that's very pretty. Big fan. All right, I need four block here. Uh, this gets me block, and this gets me block. I actually net one. I could also sidestep you to dodge one of them. So that stinks.
Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Orca Orkin is $50 dono. Yo, let's go, friend. Thank you so much. Holy moly. After this game, Orca Orcanist, let me know if you'd like to um if you'd like to skew some stuff around here. Alright, so block shot. I can move over two. If I move over two, it lets me knock this missile back. Um and then the damage is one, two, three, four, five. But maybe maybe I get there with this draw. Hold on, let's start with this. Okay, so we turned two of the missiles around. Now we're taking two damage, uh, but we didn't get our corrosive beam down, which is too bad. All right, taking three damage. I need to get that corrosive down. I don't feel like we're getting there. Sylvan found the brittle spot. That's true as well. You know what? Let's try here. Are you the brittle spot? Nope. All right, let's get the corrosive beam down. This is very important. Uh, one, two, three, four, five block options next turn. Okay, Corrosive at least is going to start damaging them. Not a scratch. Okay, we've tried here. Wait, no, we did find the Corrosive spot. Uh, I want to go shoot there. I just moved into so much damage, though. What did I do that for? All right, we made a mistake, but we found the weak spot. Oh, that's not weak, it's brittle? Shoot. There's another one hiding somewhere. Okay, thank you. Where do you think it is? Okay, we've shot here. We've shot here. I think we've shot there as well. I haven't tried this gun yet. No, it's not the gun. Uh, we're currently blocking for four. So let's move over one. It's not there. It's not there. So we haven't tried here or those two. Uh, let's just fully charge our shields here. There we go. There it is. All right. Charge beam for lethal. Turn that missile around. Get some full shields. Come on, charge beam. Where are you at? Uh, I would like you to... Wait, 10? Does it just die here? Uh, I, I just win. <laughs> Did <it? laughs> Charge beam got us there anyways. It's very funny. All right, GG.
weaken hull. This part takes double damage from all attacks. I don't know if I need to add any of these. They're also kind of hard to understand what they do. So block equal to the number of cards in your hand and overdrive. What does overdrive mean though? Overdrive is added as extra damage to all attacks. So block incoming damage capped by max shield and then overdrive is added to all stuff. I don't think I need it though. I think our damage is fine. Right? Like, also the fact that it's two energy kind of stresses me out. I think we just wait for a charge beam and block. You lose all of your shields and turn it into a damage boost? Yeah, I, I don't like that idea. That seems antithetical to how we've been, uh, to how we've been gaming so far. I think I'm just going to skip. Hunter wings. If you end your turn with more than zero energy, your wings will retract and become empty until your next turn. Interesting. We become smaller. Every time you gain any shield, gain one temporary shield. That seems absurd. That seems so strong. Uh, draw plus two cards every turn. If you're offered, wait, you are offered one less card for post-battle rewards. You may no longer skip any card rewards. Nope. <laughs> shield burst. All right. Give me a second. I'm going to take a short bio break. I'll be right back. Hello, I return. Oh, that was interesting. Yeah. Uh, you, you good? Yeah. <laughs> good old simple rigs. I, you know, I can pilot ship for a bit if you need a break. Nah, I'm fine. It's just... She really was me. Perry, tell me honestly. Do you think I'd look cool in a black jacket like that? <laughs> and her purple eyeliner. So cool. Rigs? Wow. You bet Cher would give Riggs a gun? Man. This is where the ship has been taking us. Wouldn't that be the pilot? I digress. Oh, what is that? It's the same energy signature as the warp drive, but without containment shielding and at energy levels that shouldn't be possible. It's pretty. Let's go kill it. I love this game. Is that our plan? Oh. All right. I am fighting a pirate. Add one damage to all attack. Pew pew. Pew. So not there. 
Maybe this side. I don't have any attacks. Need to put more attacks in our deck, chat. Not there. I'm going to shoot it anyways. Basic dodge. Okay, we've tried wing one and wing two. Uh, so let's move over one now. If I move over, I take six damage. I don't think it matters. I have exactly six block. All right, let's try shoot here now. Okay, these 50-50. All right, middle or gun, chat? Middle or gun? Where do you think they're hiding their weak point? Gunner says gun. Cockpit. Oh, it was cockpit. How many hit points do you have? You have 20. 21. Uh, I don't hit hard enough for you to die. a bunch of damage here. Uh, no, I can scooch. I can scooch and take no damage. That's your weak point. Hey, they lined it up for us. All right. Can I get... Can I get my big attack, please? Twelve damage, uh, seventeen. I don't have enough scooch. I don't have enough scooch. What if I do that? And I just like I just soften it up a little. I'm not going to use the last attack because wait, no, I do. I want to. I want to shuffle that back in. Uh oh. Fine. All right, I need to line up the big attack and the weak spot. We got there. Goodbye. Escalate. Add one damage to all attacks. It increases by one. Panic. Scooch, shield, flip them. Table flip. <laughs> Table flip. All cards with flippable actions, such as move and flip. They introduced a brand new mechanic here, which is flip, and I don't like that. Wait, do I have any flip on any of my other cards? No. I'm not going to... Can't handle that right now. Not going to worry about that right now. Uh, overdrive is kind of neat. I'm just going to skip it. We're not much of an overdrive gamer. All right. We can do card remove this way. If we go this way, card remover upgrade. And then we go this way. Uh, and then we get upgrade card remove, or instead of a card remover upgrade, we get another relic. Double face cards. My smooth brain can't handle that. The elite is interesting, or a upgrade or card remove is also interesting. What would I do? What would I do? Kind of want to thin the deck again. These I love. This is okay. Uh, I need more attacks, which means I probably need to remove a block card. Exhaust, 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 exhaust. Actually, our deck is pretty thin once we go through it once. <laughs> Can't influence me because you already own this one? <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> yeah, you got me, David. Uh, does this upgrade to a cheaper one? What does that mean? Plus one shield capacity. Getting a draw one on momentum might be kind of cool, good, kind of good too. Yeah, let's go down. Then I get an unknown issue. No. Oh, this has already been upgraded. What does upgraded charged beam do? It's already been upgraded as well. We can't upgrade it again. It's already at. Uh, wait. 
Oh, no, never mind. I'm sorry. We could upgrade it so it scales 50% faster. The last two times we got to events, we've gotten like one shot damage cards. Doesn't make us, doesn't make me feel like we're getting significantly stronger. But mind you, I'm two for two on events. And that was both in the first act, both times. I think I want the, I don't think I have great upgrades. I'm going to go take the elite. Hello. Hey, I found this first. You've got the wrong idea. Have some acid. That's cute. Asteroid field. You're fighting an asteroid field. Yes, I see that. Thank you. <laughs> Their name is Duncan. Wow, I love that. Uh, you're going to hit me for four. I have enough block to handle that. So, we fight. Oh, I found their weak spot. Ha <laughs> ha! Going to attack their weak spot for massive damage. Oh, I took seven, actually. That's fair. Charge beam is getting stronger. Uh, I'm going to play battle repair just to exhaust it. I don't think I'm going to take any damage here. Okay, I need to start getting some damage in on you, huh? Or else that's just never going to go away. Did you miss all of the second stage? We are now on Act 3. Uh, I've got 12 damage there. 17. Uh, 12. 14. It's not enough. Kind of wish my deck was a little bit thinner. Maybe I was supposed to go to the shop just so I could remove some more cards. I've got two movement here. I can do one over. Lap, lap. 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 Lap, lap. Eighteen. That's okay. I'm just going to draw my one hit kill. Hey, look. Game works. <laughs> the system works. Uh, scooch. Nope. Another scramble. No. Oh, this is an upgraded scramble, which I already have one of. And this is another draw shot. I mean, I did say I want more attacks. I'll take another draw shot. Love drawing cards. Big fan. They have one, two, five potential weak places. Weak points. That's not one of them. Uh, that's full block. You lit me on fire. Unbelievable. All right, let's test this side. That's not the weak point. I have eight move. Ah, we found the weak point. Let's go. It's its leftmost wing. Man, can you believe the shoddy construction they have these days? Unbelievable. All right, you've got 18, 19 hit points. I have uh, one, two... Six, seven damage. That's not enough to one shot you. Okay. Let's 
It's awfully rude. What are we doing over here? Uh, can battle repair. Just assume we're not going to get hit. Scooch way over, please. Oh my god, they're a fool. Now all we have to do is draw our big one-hit kill. We missed. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, I think we overheat and take one hull damage here. Unless I can win first. Yeah, I can't win. Hey, I went from being a perfect fight to not a perfect fight, you know? Makes me sad. Goodbye. Juke! Move three blocks in a random direction. Multi-blast. That is a lot of damage. That's twice as good as a vase as uh multi-shot. Especially once we find their weak point. Why? The messed up ship in that glowing asteroid thing. It's going to have some kind of exotic tech. And it's going to be mine. Oh, okay. All right, I guess we fighting. All right, what is this? Uh, you're going to give me a card. You're going to hit me for three. There's a missile battery over there that's also weak. Takes one more. One more is different from double. Okay, I need to get enough block. That's good. Uh, let's do let's do a little testing here before we uh, commit to anything. Okay, it's not here. It's not there. Flames. Thanks. Any the weak point? No. We haven't tested here or these two. Okay, where are you scooching to? Nowhere helpful. Good to know. want to try it there or this side this side is also good thank you that's not the weak point that means by process of elimination this has to be the weak point right that one's also available all right good talk it's the rightmost wing unbelievable Two. If I move all the way over, it's probably dead. Uh, do I have a two attack? I do. GG. Stun shot. Cancel the intent of the targeted part. Uh, nah. Pulse barrier. It's free and it's upgraded. That seems incredible. I'm feeling kind of strong, y'all. Wait, what does this do? The enemy is going to corrode itself. I'm also curious as to what's happening here. It gives itself corrosion. That's bad though, right? Why would it do that? What am I misunderstanding?
that's its thing. It has a huge amount of HP, but... So we just have to survive? Okay, I've tried these three. Uh, you are not an extra weak point, okay. I have three movement, I have four block. I can move over one, I can full block, and we can keep trying to test and find a weak spot. Okay, it must be on that side. Look at the enemy's name, the Rusting Colossus. What if I hit it with more poison? Do you think that'd be good? Ah, we found the weak point, chat. You're loving the uh, hidden weak point minigame? Yeah. Can't help but notice I'm on the wrong side and I'm about to take 11. Uh, no. <laughs> no, thank you. Hey. About to take four. Hate that for me. I think the one poison I hit it with really helped. No. I get the kill. Whoa! Let's go! $200 donation to the Trans Lifeline. Thank you so much, Aura. Friends, can we get some hearts in chat? That is tremendous. Thank you very, very much. And in the rules of Calvin Ball, uh, you wanna you wanna what do you wanna do? You wanna bring a game back? You want to add some votes to the Wheel of Chaos? What can I do for you, friend? Holy moly. Of course, Orca Orcanus, we had a chance to... Um, streamer's Choice. Joe? That's up to you, my love. That's so generous. Thank you so much, friend. Uh, while we're doing that, too, actually, Orca Orcanus, I don't know if we... Uh, if we counted your $50 dono either. And you know what, Scuba? Let's round up the eight bucks. Let's get you in there too. We could add some chaos. We can revive a game. We can do all kinds of all kinds of shenanigans here. Considering it's Joe's pick, what do you want to see, chat? You want to move some stuff around? You wanna you wanna resurrect something? You wanna see a game we haven't played yet today get bigger? Let's see your ideas. That's so sweet, friend. Thank you so much. Never heard of Undermine? We've done a couple playthroughs. It's very cute. We're also $4 away from $3,000 raised. That's incredible. Are there any games on the Epic Store that you've played before that could be added? Uh, on the Epic Store, uh, we don't have a couple of big ones, if I'm honest. The ones that we don't have on there, we don't have... Wait, why is it... Oh, there we go. Dead Cells is a big one. Uh, Dead Cells and Grifflands. Did One Way Heroics get played? It did, yeah. All right, Orca Orcanist wants five points. Oh, I spun. No, 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 don't spin. This doesn't count. I, I clicked the wrong button. No, you don't get to see. You don't get to see. I'm gonna hide that. Oh, no. I hit hide. Shoot. Uh, oh, no. I need to bring Slay the Spire back. There we go. Everything's fine. <laughs> uh, anyways, we had... Uh, d -d 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 Orca Orcanist wanted five points on Undermine. Hey, Autumn Autumn! 
Thank you for the $5.81 donation. We are now officially over $3,000. Thank you so much. Dome Keeper an option. I feel like that game went a little long for a run, but maybe then again, I've been doing like two to three hour runs anyways. You can't do math anyways. I'm cute. Yes, you are. $3,000 raised for the Trans Lifeline. Thank you so much, everybody. All right, Joe. Joe says we are resurrecting Brotato. <laughs> Brotato, welcome back. Let's alphabetize you. And you know what? With a $200 dono, let's put another uh, let's put another 10 points on it. Get that waiting in there. Thank you so much again. Joe pandering to the surge demographic. I appreciate it. All right. Faint. No. Stunts. Four energy. No, thank you. Selective memory. Choose a card from your draw or discard pile. Exhaust. Uh, wow. Yeah, that lets me just grab the beam back. Your first attack always pierces. Whenever you have no cards, draw a card. I guess we'll take Piercer, because I don't I don't miss. <laughs> uh, every fifth time you attack, gain one evade. Heal booster. Every time you heal, heal one more. Uh, we're going to go with this. Every five attacks, gain a free evade is very strong. Free tutor. Again, it makes me think of Slay the Spire, like Seek, right? Hey, CK, thank you very much for that $20 dono. I really appreciate you, friend. Let me know if you want to manipulate the wheel. Good afternoon. Is it? Can I get you anything? All right. So our options are we could put a draw on momentum or we could try and remove a card. Uh, maybe it's time to remove multi-shot. Two points on Brotato. Thank you, CK. You get rid of battle repair. I like having it. It exhausts itself. I don't like to remove cards that already exhaust because they, well, they already exhaust. Uh, the other option is actually to upgrade Charge Beam. Let's do that, actually. Let's upgrade Charge Beam. Upgrades 50% faster now. All right, Elite. There's a weak repeating signal coming from inside of this asteroid. This is not a place of honor. No highly esteemed deed is commemorated here. This message is a warning about danger. What do you think they're trying to say? Wow. A warning left by dead civilization. Wait, the game view is frozen. Can y'all not see what's happening? What in the world? That was so weird. Huh. They feared their own cre oh wait, they feared their own creation enough to seal it away here for eons. A haunting reminder of their fragility of life and the hubris of living. Chrono the 20. Thank you, friend. Alright, I'm never gonna alt tab again. So Chrono, if you want to change the wheel, I'm gonna have to wait. Alt tabbing apparently breaks the game. So we'll uh remember your choice. Thank you for the 20. Let's get digging. Wow. The buried relic. This is walled. You are walled in. Oh, we have less room to dance. Okay. Uh, 7 HP. <gasps> it got stronger. I feel betrayed. Did that mean? You woke it up, Surge. Why would you do that? 
Why would I do that? That's a very good question. All right, where is its weak point? Where do you think? It's not there. I'm going to take seven. I can't move any further to the side. I need to block. I'm going to take one. Okay, so I cannot, if the weak point is on the outsides here, I cannot find that, which is really unfortunate. Now it's hitting me for nine. I feel like it's cheating. Everybody, I feel like it's cheating. Why does it get to cheat? I want to try there. Oh, I might be able to shoot it to the side, right. As long as it doesn't scooch over. <sighs> Wait, how much damage do you do? If I hit it once, and then I kill it. Got it. Easy game. Acid Cannon is back. Acid Cannon is back. Except it, it's... I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, I'm going to skip. Ion Converter. In your turn with more than zero energy gain one shield. Uh, rebound Regent. Once per turn, when you lose hull, immediately heal hull. Sharp Edges. Every time you, your discard pile is shuffled back into your draw pile, the enemy loses one. So my deck is 21 cards. It's not that thin. Um, minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My deck is 12 cards. Which means I would get one free damage every two and a half turns. Plus a bunch of draw. Uh, we are going to try and thin it. Let's try this. Alright. We could also do a card remove now. I think it's time to remove multi-shot. I also kind of want to remove block shot actually. Uh, let's remove multi-shot first. Evasive shot. Makes it exhaust. I kind of like that. I, I kind of like mobility right now, though. I think this is less exciting to me. Just a damage card. I hope you didn't need that. Me too. All right, third boss. Is this our final waypoint? It is. The cobalt is embedded in that singularity. Are we ready? Don't look so nervous, guys. Hey, cat. How many times have we been here before? Zero. Oh. You'll do great. Good luck in there. What do you mean? We can't fight the Cobalt while it's inside the Singularity. Someone needs to bring it out. I'm uploading myself to the Cobalt now. <gasps> Cat.exe, no! Hold on. There's probably some other way to accomplish that. She's already gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that seems like a big number. Let's do some tests here. I don't have a gun. That's not the weak point. All right, we've tested there. Remember that. Uh, now we're going to test here. Currently taking five. If I move over, I get an attack and a block. We've tested here, here, and these two. You're filling me with trash. That's extremely rude. Why do you have so much trash in you? So we tested this missile bay, correct? Okay, we've tested there now. One to discard this trash. Well, that sucks. Uh, we drew charged beam though. Missiles, eh? If I move over, I can deflect the missile. I can also just scooch all the way over to the left and I don't have to do it at all. Uh, 
Uh, I'm just going to hit it with Corrosion, which is kind of a waste to use all that movement, but here we are. I do really want to test there. Please stop moving. Because of this game, every time I walk past Riggs Street, I think to myself, <laughs> evil Riggs Street, amazing. <laughs> All right, let's try this way now. I found it. I found it. Now what? Taking five. Taking one. taking four, currently taking none damage. I just realized I'm doing nothing here because of its stupid block. Or maybe we can scooch over one and hit it for giga. Hit it for giga damage. Ooh. So I have that pierce, which is kind of cool. Big fan of the pierce. If we hit our charged beam now, we win. Uh, let's test that theory. <laughs> let's go. What's happening? Systems report. The cobalt went critical. We're exposed to the core singularity. Are all emergency blast doors closed? Yes, but we can't sustain this. The hull is literally melting. Come on, man! We beat the Cobalt! What else are we supposed to do? Hello. Who's hailing us? Identify yourselves. Yeah, and make it snappy. We have like 30 seconds. Hello, broken ones. Your poor shattered time streams. I can help you. But there are other souls tangled in this time knot. Do you mean like Isaac and Max? And two others. Now... Who shall I repair first? I mean, it's got to be Riggs, right? It's got to be Riggs. <gasps> what is this? Be still. You mentioned a broken time stream. Is that like my past? Is that why so many of my memories are hazy? Yes. You more so than any. Now be still. Okay. Okay. T-124 days. Cobalt, STC. This is G-72 Artemis requesting permission to dock. Copy, G-72 Artemis. State your cargo and passenger roster. Cargo sheet lists 30 tons water, 10 tons rations, 2 tons science equipment. Copy. Proceed to port 5. Please sign here, and here, and here. Who are you? What happened to the last delivery pilot? I'm Riggs. I started today. The last pilot got spooked by some pirates along the route and quit. So they installed a cannon on the Artemis and hired me. And you know how to handle yourself in combat? I do. Yeah. Good. And 
and you'll be the pilot for our regular deliveries from now on? Unless I get blown up. <laughs> and this was our deck. Hey! So that was our second ever run of Cobalt Core, and we got a W. Cool. I have unlocked Isaac. Alrighty. Cool. All right, Chrono. What's it going to be? You want to put uh, two votes somewhere? And then we spin that wheel. Hold on, that was the best shield deck I've ever actually seen win. Oh, thank you. Wonder if you've had any previous experience? No. Uh, today was literally the first time I've ever played this game. Chrono wants to add Rogue. Chrono wants to add Rogue. Another new game. What do I even do with this? I mean, I guess we'll find out if it wins. All right. Well, let's add it to the wheel, I guess. Uh, QR. I mean, does Rogue go above or below Rogue Book? I think it goes above when you add more letters. That's how alphabetical works. You can't play Rogue. It's not a Rogue-like. It's a Rogue Rogue. This is 100% not a Rogue-like. Oh, it's the most roguelike of roguelikes. If it doesn't fit the game, if it doesn't fit the vibe, y'all know better than I do. I've never actually played OG Rogue. I'm going to change the color of Peglin so it stands out a little bit more. Let's make it... Oh, there's also two greens side by side. Let's make you pink. And Peglin, let's make you... Or... And nope, that doesn't make it easier. Purple? No. Hot pink? No. Red? It was already red. <laughs> there. Well, all right, everybody, you ready? You ready to spin that wheel? They're all called roguelikes because of rogue? Sure, but that doesn't mean it works like it. We'll see. We'll see. And it would have to hit that tiny little splitter sliver right there. Three, two, one. Brotato is back. Thank you, Milanomi Aura, for resurrecting Brotato. So last time we played uh, Soldier on random, random max difficulty. Let's see what we hit today. Random. The Ranger. Random. Ranger with a pistol. All right, everybody. Potato with a plan, everybody. Luck. Don't mind if I do. A third pistol? They do call me three pistol Jaeger for a reason. What's my favorite random combo in this game? Random combo. I mean, I haven't played all of the permutations. I know what my favorite characters are, though. Hey, Jesse Improved, thank you very, very, very much for the 41. Hope you're having a wonderful day, friend. Does pistol have any pierce? Kind of looks like it does. Some attack speed going. Get some more gun. More DACA. Yeah, I don't know if I have a favorite random random combination. Because then it's not really random random, right? Uh, my favorite characters to play are um, the... I think it's called the crazy. The knife one. The one with the knife and uh, thief blade is one of my favorites. Uh, big fan of ghost. 
Big fan of Ghost. Big fan of Engineer. Pistol. Get rid of shoddy. There we go. I'm a man of four pistols and two small hand cannons. Good mix of single target and, and splash damage is the hope. Does the engineer make turrets? Yes. Turrets and grenades. Uh, grenades, pardon me, landmines. Hi, sweetie. Sweetie Joe brought us coffee chat. Let's get some thanks Joes in the chat, please and thank you. Show her some love. You unlocked Cryptid, it might be your favorite. It just makes you want to grow a forest. <laughs> sure does. Let's get some more range here. That is a big hand cannon. All right, I'm now with three and three cannon man. Oh, that's a good coffee, too. Which one is that, Jojo? From where? Little Alberta Roastery. I'm going to miss this place a little. A little. That's tough. You know what? All right, real talk. I have actually grown medium plus attached. My time in Alberta. When we first got here, it was really weird. Uh, and now it's actually kind of sweet. One big thing. One big, big thing. I, I don't know how many of you are from the prairies. I love the prairie sky. The prairie sky is just so beautiful. It's so big. Uh, and we, you can see the mountains on clear days. And just the mountains and the big sky. Very, very, very pretty. Uh, parts I don't like are, uh, I don't know if you can see how much of a breakout I'm having on my forehead now from the eternally dry skin that is the, the desert that is winters in Alberta. <laughs> and of course, I miss all my friends in Victoria. But yeah, it's going to be weird. I've kind of grown attached, acclimatized to what we're doing. Raven! Joe's like, my skin is not fond of this. Raven, thank you very much for the $15 donor towards the Trans Lifeline. Really appreciate the support, friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. More range damage. Yes. Uh, this is sustained. I have no health. I'm actually going to skip this so that... Oh, found health. <laughs> there you go. Damage. Crit. Baltics leave a little bit to be desired. It's uh, a little unfortunate. <laughs> Once again, to put it mildly. But that's why we fundraise. <laughs> Single tier. Victoria misses you, comma, Joe. What about Surge? Does Victoria not miss Surge suffix? What do I not know? Ooh, go Luke Goblin. Luke Goblin. Luke Goblin. Please? Please? Got him. What about that minus a zillion degree weather? I've been skiing. And the skiing has been delightful. Turns out I've just been really, really enjoying stuff. Uh, range damage modifications are increased by 50%. Oh, I thought this was the character that scaled damage off of range. That's awkward. <laughs> uh... All right, that's fine. We're zoomy and we got the range. What else could we possibly need? as a ranged character, right? You know what we need? We need a baby with a beard, which I promise is not a non sacrador <laughs> I mean, things, sentences that only make sense in Brotato. Please, one time baby with a beard, eh, chat? If you know, you know. Do you know that baby with a beard is not unique? 
I'm sorry. They are special, but they're not rules unique. Jory was, Joe was very insulted for a second that the baby with the beard was not unique. They're very special, Joe, I promise. You know, we're doing okay here. Many babies have beards. That's fair. Uh, we're going to take health again. Uh, we're going to take another shredder. We're going to take some range and attack speed. And ooh, more pierce. Well, well, well. More pierce. Baby with a beard sounds like a punk band. Yeah. Yeah, they do. That or they sound like a, a song by Gogo -Go Bordello or something like that. <laughs> right? <laughs> One of the two. I don't know why Gogo -Go Bordello specifically, but it makes me happy. Loot Goblin. All right, do I have enough damage to chase you down while fighting off this wave? Signs point to yes! Ding, 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 ding! Around here we stand. Wave nine. Oh, another Loot Goblin. Can't get that one. But we got one chest, so that's good. I need damage. I'll take armor. Ooh, damage. Ooh, what's my crit chance? 20%? Feeling stronger now. Uh, bandana is pierce. Ugly tooth is slow. And we got uh, crit sustain, which I like way more than this, this kind of sustain. Ah, I'll take a little bit of sustain. Uh, elite fight damage. We have to fight an elite on 11, so that might save us. And I'm tempted. My, my max HP is too low for this. Or is it? No, I need damage. All right, so our wave clear should be better. Our single target for killing an elite is going to be really awkward. Floor 11 elite is a run ender, just as a heads up, folks. Um, we're going to need things to go pretty well for us here. And currently our damage is look at look like look how bad our damage is, right? It's a little spooky. Maybe we'll get lucky and we won't get the giant floating eye of death. Maybe we won't get the, the wave eleven run ender. Maybe we get an easy elite. Do we dare hope? Do we dare pray? Or is Brotato fated to end at floor eleven again? Attack speed is big. We got an upgraded pistol. That's also big. I think our cleaver is fine. And then we'll grab pocket factory for after this. You know what? I'm going to take wandering bot because it might be able to save us against certain bosses. Who are we fighting? You know what? This is, a, I want to say an easy-ish one, but our damage is kind of mid. Bye, Brotato. <laughs> 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 
Behold the wheel. A hey, uh, Raven, did we add a vote for you? You say you love Pocket Factory. Would you like to put one vote towards a game? Can't believe we haven't hit Peglin yet. That Paul guy wrecked indeed. That was a tough boss, considering what we had. I think that was winnable. It was tough, though. One more point for Peglin. All right. Let's spin it, people. In three, two, one. Ring, 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 Across the Obelisk. This is a game I've never played before. All right. And this gift was very, this game was very generously gifted to me to play for the very first time, specifically for this charity event. So, all right. We got another deck builder, friends. <laughs> you think I'm going to enjoy it? Oh, probably. So as is the rules, uh, this is actually, man, today is a day of all new games. Oh, I have to install the, the Paradox Launcher? Okay. Yeah, a lot of new games today. Uh, as is the rules with any new game, I, I'm going to allow myself one, one mulligan from the, the rules of roguelike, roguelike. If I die... And it's quick. Oh, hopefully it's faster than Darkest Dungeon. Uh, if it's if if we die like super fast, we'll we'll call that learning, much like we do with Cobalt Core, right? We lost a run, and then I went and went and won a run. So, hey there, kids. I ain't reading all that. Uh sure. Discover new characters, unlock cards, and fight evil bosses in this rogue light adventure. As always, please let me know how the volume is, how the screen capture is. Um, streaming this game for the first time. When suddenly, a burst of energy erupted from the princess's chamber. Okay, they will think for the 10 bucks. Ooh, team order. The royal guards explored every corner of the castle, but found no sign of her or Lord Hanshek, the court magician. The king sent soldiers all over the kingdom none of them returned the trail of the princess was lost deep in the old forest my princess is missing that had been never heard of this premise before uh, the game's already at like 95 percent I can't make it much louder royal decree announcing a reward for whoever brought the princess home safely all right I need to change the game title thank you Clara the news spread quickly throughout the kingdom Many groups of adventurers prepared to investigate the obelisk. This is the story of one of those groups. All right, I'm going to turn it down just so the narrator doesn't come in. It's like 8 billion times louder. All right. Uh, this is called Across the Obelisk. There it is. Across Belisk the Obelisk. Real quick here. Audio. There we go. Uh, I have Reginald and Magnus. Okay. Uh, Act one. Town. Lonely tree. Lonely tree. Energy management and cards. You can cast cards until you run out of energy. Okay. When you end a turn, energy that hasn't been used will be saved for the next hero. Interesting. Oh, wait. Will be saved for the next turn of this hero. Okay. 
Card targets. This box shows the available target. Only attacks front. If there are multiple targets for a card, you'll have to select which one is affected. If there's only one releasing, the card will automatically select it. Okay. All right. I should move the camera. Let's go here. All right, what do we know about you? Uh, I guess I don't get to see what their intent is. 20% chance of attack. Wait, no, I don't know what this means. Rend. Real quick, uh, what is what are these numbers? I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Monster cards. The cards that monsters are going to cast are hidden by default. The sight effect will reveal these cards, allowing you to plan your movements. Oh, we don't get to know. Interesting. This is not one of these games. Ah, you're shooting my back line. Speed and character order. All characters have speed value, which can be modified by cards. The value establishes who moves first. In case of a tie, the closest hero to the center will have priority. Interesting. Chop. Front hero. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and heal you then. front hero so let's do this again you die to bleed now and then oh, i can defend the back row too okay you die to bleed i don't know what you're doing so let's find out okay we're learning Who gave, who gave this bandit a gun? All right, real, real question here. I don't know who they're, oh, it's always the back hero. Okay, that's self-defense. Defend, defend, bleed. Oh, you just die, Never mind. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, we're at the tavern. Sometimes you're forced to make rolls. Each character will use those cards from their own deck. All right. Um, you arrive at a nearby tavern, and there you meet Andrin, Reginald's brother. After talking to him for a while, he decides to join your party. In the corner of a tavern, you see a woman who seems to be a mage. It would be nice to have someone like her at a party. Do you want to try and recruit her? I will try and convince her. I succeeded. Okay. After speaking with her, she introduces herself as Evelyn and tells you she's looking for the princess and decides to join you. Great. I'm now in a town. Town actions. You can craft new cards for your decks, upgrade any card you have, buy equipment for your heroes, and claim rewards from previous games. Oh my god. Go inside the Magic Forge and buy Fireball. Okay. Once a card has been unlocked by looting it, you'll be able to craft it for your heroes. So click on Evelyn and craft a fireball. You will unlock new cards during your adventures. Now go to the altar for the next step of the tutorial. This is D&D &D meets Slay the Spire. <laughs> what if there was a card-based fishing roguelike? Oh no. Yeah, I've also heard that this is a, uh, I've also heard that this is a great multiplayer game. You can play this co-op and each one of you controls a separate character, which is wild. All right, transform cards. Paying an amount of shards, you will be able to upgrade your cards into more powerful versions. Upgrade the card Fast Strike from Magnus. So I go to Magnus, I click on Fast Strike, 
And it can either be more damage or more free. Uh, I like I like free. Bear in mind that the cost of upgrading a card will be based on the rarity of the card. Now go to the armory to finish the town tutorial. In the towns and shops scattered around the world, you can buy items for your heroes that will improve their stats and performance. Buy the spyglass for Andrin. Apply. Oh, wow. Start combat. Apply sight to everything. That seems incredible. Congratulations. You have finished the tutorial and can now begin your adventure. I accept. Story mode rapidly becomes like constructed magic and tower challenges is more pure roguelike. My one worry with this game is we might go too long for the spirit of the game. But I guess if we die, we die. Which is also why... Um, there's another, uh, Guardian Quest is another amazing sort of D&D Spire-like, but it doesn't feel very roguelike. It definitely feels more like a narrative adventure, which is fine, but you know, not always what you're looking for. Uh, isolated Chapel, there's a pig, there's a cave. Oh, there's a fish. All right, we're going towards the fish chat. I am fighting animated and angry corn. Uh, random hero takes 12. Uh, front hero takes 9. Front hero takes 9. Oh, my rogue is here. Look at 5 cards. Discard any and then draw 1. Let's try and deal with... Ah! you So, is initiative always left to right? Interesting. Apply speed and vulnerable to all enemies. Okay, good. Grants nine to all heroes. Let's get all strong here, shall we? I might actually be able to kill pretty quickly here. Deals five, applies a bunch of bleed. Uh, that would be 10 bleed at the start of the turn. 5 plus 10, I'd be off by some uncountable number. So that full blocks. Fire Blast. What does this do? Uh, nope. Deal 14 damage, apply 2 freeze. Okay. Deal 2 lightning, apply... Oh my god, there's so many things to learn here. Uh, gain one extra energy per charge at the start of your turn, then remove all charges. So this doesn't want to finish the turn immediately. This kills that enemy. Now I start dealing with these enemies. And then I hit you with one of these. All right, we should full block here because they're both going to attack the front row. We've got my healer now, which is great. Uh, Divine Grace, Dispel, and Heal X. Uh, fire Blast and see if they become popcorn. Man, now you're talking. I should have done that. Uh, what are you? Who are we back on now? We're back on the rogue, Andrin. Uh, draw a card and block. Seems good. Gotta love a good cantrip. Uh, 14 damage. Kill you. Wait. Why did you not die? Why did it somehow... Hold on. Time out. Why didn't that die? It resisted? Resisted? 
reduces 10%. Oh my god, enemies have resistances? That's that's going to be so much for me to learn. All right, uh, I just want to do 32 damage quickly here. Draw one, gain two energy. This also seems incredible. Got some damage? Nope, just drew another block card. Sure. So does it show me how much damage it's likely to do when I hover over it or no? So that did extra damage somehow. Unbelievable. One damage? My perfect fight? Never mind. Flawless. Flawless victory. So there's, um... Oh my god. There's a lot. Wait, did I automatically upgrade a card there? Or are these cards that I can add to my deck? Interesting. Locked cards. During your adventures, you will discover new cards after each combat. All cards shown will be unlocked. Remember, you'll only be able to craft unlocked cards. Okay. Choose one card or get 30 shards. Apply poison. Remove stealth from marked creature. Uh, what is this? Apply uh, insane mind resistance. Goodness. Okay, we're going to take detox. That seems important. Keep forgetting how much learning there is. Every card game is like this. Every card game has so many stats, but also what's kind of wild for these decks, like the fact that the wizard deck starts with three different elements makes this really challenging, right? Like I kind of wish they were just, here's the fire mage, learn how fire works. But we have to learn simultaneously electric, fire, and frost at the same time. You're like, y'all, right? And then you have the rogue as well. So rogue has bleed, target uh now we also have poison so we're not just learning like one character we're learning all four characters of slay the spire at the exact same time <laughs> you know what i mean oh more focused characters exist i imagine they do and it's not a critique of the game it's like this is just a lot you know deal Two damage to all enemies and apply burn. Suffer one fire damage per charge. At the end of turn, remove a charge. All right. We're going to be a fire mage. Uh, I'm going to grab this. Hey, we're Nerdify. Thank you so much for the $15 dono, friend. And I'm going to skip on the tank. There you go. Scorched field event. Yes, please. Crops are on fire. Near the farm, you come across a burn field and a burning house. In front of the house... There is a fire imp causing fires. That's what they do. <laughs> Even half burned, the house may contain something valuable, but you'll have to deal with the fire imp and the cornies first. You can deal with the imp and investigate the house or ignore him. Uh, I cast a cold card. Wait. Everyone draws a card. If the group results in a five or lower, we win. No. Sneak away. Continues your way. If the group draws a three or higher, we win. Or I cast a cold card. I'm going to try a cold card. I did it. Success. Evelyn casts cold. That hits the imp and the cornies. The imp flees. And with the drop in temperature, the fire is extinguished. You can now approach the house. All right. You're at the entrance of the burning house. Clearly, this was a poor man's house, and you can see that the contents inside are already destroyed or burned. But before you leave, a chest catches your eye. Although the chest is on fire, the fire is spreading rapidly. There'll be nothing left in a few moments. Is it just me or is the writing a little bit awkward? We're going fire mage and the crops are on fire. Coincidence? Uh, that's lies and slander. I'm going to try and rush and put out the house. I want a four or higher from the group. I'm going to hit it. Let's 
Success! We get 80 gold out of the chest. Good job, us. You can choose one of the following or get 50 gold. Oh. Burned item. If you play with fire, you're going to get burned. That doesn't seem like it does anything. Surprise box. Contains one of the following. Uh, Acolyte's tunic. Ooh, bonus resistance. Now, hold on. Can I put this on a... Ah, I can put this on a person. Plus one light damage. Oh. Or the surprise box. I don't know. No, 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 no. I want my I want my healer to have an acolyte's tunic. That's the thematic. Wait. I can keep picking? Oh, the rogue is going to have the surprise box. Wait, that's... The mage is going to have the surprise box. Does everyone get an item? One per character. Wow. Uh... Wait, no. No! Shoot, I changed their armor for something that's burned. Uh, can I fix that? Or is that... Oh, no. No chance to reverse it. Immediately punished. All right. Whatever. It happens. No biggies. All right. What do we got here? Um, random hero is going to take six fire damage. Wow. Hitting me with popcorn. Wait, who's this? Who are you? A farmer? But you're supposed to be on my side. You're going to water the crops. Okay. Oh, you're also on fire. I see how it is. See the guy whose house we just looted? No, no, that's highly unlikely. Dare heal them all? Unbelievable. Okay, they're going to bleed to death. Nice. Excellent blocking surge. It is now Reginald's turn. So I could dispel the fire later on. Uh, let's start hitting the back line here. Grants, what's this? Regeneration. Wet. Lightning damage. Okay. Holy smite. You gain bless. What does bless do? Bless. Damage done and heal received plus one per charge. Oh, interesting. I probably should have changed the order then. Now, here's a question I'm curious about. How exactly does a corn on the cob bleed to death? Adrenaline. Uh, suffer one fatigue. Gain two energy. Sure. <clears throat> they have internal fluids? <sighs> Sounds fake. Uh, front hero is going to take 10. Front hero is going to take 19. What's that, sweetie? Do 
Feels like you've never bitten into a corn on the cob and had it spray you. That sounds terrifying. Don't like the sounds of that. All right, deal 18 damage. I win. Surge wins. All right, I get. All right, I've had. I guess I've had juicy corn on the cob. I just this com this conversation is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, more poison. Apply spot. You gain sneak. You gain stealth. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, I want you to be sneaky. Uh, we're gonna keep adding fire magic to you. Is that middle sweeping strike upgraded? Yes, it does 20 and eight versus 10 and four. That is twice as good, but also costs one more energy. I think I'm just gonna take another free block here and I'm gonna skip. I have no idea if my decks are good or not. I'm learning. All right, we get to go and fish. Whispers in the shadow. You enter a nearby watermill. It seems empty at first glass, but then you hear a whisper directed at you. You aren't my prey. You're scaring them. Leave, please. But, but, but first, I have an offer for you. If you happen to find a very strong venom and give it to me, I will join your group after I finish this job. This is definitely a lizard man. I have helped your tribe before. Ah, I can't believe it. It's you, Reginald. I'm Thules, the lizard lizard man. I really appreciate what you did for me in the past. Right now, I'm on a job. Uh, could you bring me that venom? I will surely find it in the spider cave in the marsh. When I finish the job, I'll come back and thank you properly. For now, accept these items as a gift. They gave me a side quest? Fast. Leather armor. All right, we're going to replace the armor. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, we want our tank to have some jewelry. Nope. Uh, I don't have room for... Okay. Okay. Slippers. Oh, a dagger. Wait, you already have an item. Uh, a random hero gains plus one card. No, I just want more damage. I want. I should have put that on the rogue, but the rogue already got the shirt. Okay, I'm learning to read first. Man, reading. Am I right? All heroes recover plus three. That's huge. I don't know if this box has been doing anything that I enjoy. Can I undo my leather armor choice? No. Doesn't look like there's a lot of... <laughs> doesn't look like there's a lot of redo here. I'm kind of unfortunate. I want them to have this plus HP ring. I can undo it. How do I undo? Upper left. Oh, restart. Have the dagger. Oh, it's restart though. Still, that's fine. All right. Uh, let's upgrade this. Uh, you don't have armor. There. There. An event, the farmer's caravan. You meet a small group of farmers who are transporting grain to the watermill. They seem nervous because they're near the edge of the forest and these parts are full of bandits. You approach them cautiously. They don't see you as a threat and you can talk to them. Leave for passing by. Pay to buy a sack of grain for 60 gold. What's a sack of grain? Nope. Uh, offer to escort them to the watermill in exchange for a sack of grain. Uh, I can try. Do I want a sack of grain? I win. They don't hesitate to accept the offer. The path to the watermill is clear, and as promised, they give you a sack of grain. The Fang Gates. You're entering the northern part of the forest. The Fang Gates, guarding the bandit camp, stand before you. And the path ahead will not be easy. Now is the perfect time to rest or prepare for battle. Remember that you don't have much time to spare, so you can only do one activity before continuing. 
Uh, we could probably get some gold or shards. I found a forest trail. Maybe it could lead us directly to the camp. Ooh. Skill card or... Let's try foraging. No, I fail. Character event. Uh, DM, I do that. Guard the weakest enemy. Okay. Chop, chop the front enemy. Heal the lowest enemy. Okay, so I want to kill you. Requires stealth. Oh. Oh! I took a card that doesn't do anything. Neat. Okay. I kind of feel like they negated my entire turn here. <laughs> Just gonna keep zapping that back line there. Deal X, X, X equal to X cards in hand. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to play that first. I'm still learning. Have some more fire and a little elemental ward on yourself. Can I kill the back line? All right, now my rogue gets to go and we get to kill the back line. No, I didn't draw. I did not draw any arrow. Okay, well, uh, let's mess up that front row then, eh? Get him. My sequencing was bad again. Alright, what do we got here? Gain Rabid. Middle Hero. I have two Middle Heroes. So. Let's do that. And then, is anybody going to attack the front row? Purge all heroes. No reason not to have more defense. Man, there are so many statuses in this game. Holy moly. Oh, does side mean it hits one thing and does damage to both sides? I didn't quite understand what the word side meant there, you know? All right. Transmission. No, that's fine. I don't think I will. Deal 7 lightning damage to this target's sides at the start of turn. I'll just kill that enemy. Now it is Reginald's turn. Straight out of Slay the Spire? Maybe. Are they not doing anything? Like, why can't I see what they're doing? Maybe they're taking a turn off. Who knows? Oh, there we go. They already did their turn? Yeah, but uh, the problem is... The way the sequencing works, I didn't get to see what my next turn would be. You know what I mean? To try and set up the sequencing. I've only got two energy. Yeah. 
Enemies don't refresh their intentions until the start of the rounds. So if you're going after them in initiative, you don't get to know what they do next. Yeah, I discovered that. Oh, which is fine, I guess. Deal 20 to the fastest enemy. Oh my god, my man. My man's about to get bopped, y'all. Okay, I should be able to finish off the mage here. Somehow not finishing off the mage. They have like ridiculous magic resist. Yes. Wow. Holy smite. So I should be hovering over. The problem is I keep trying to put the card over them. But that's fine. All right, let's get some healing going on here, shall we? You are going to shoot. Oh, you're not going to do anything. Uh, I could stall. I could stall so we heal again. Uh, let's go. I got no healing cards. Love to see it. Steel skin. Sure. I'm going to take another aimed shot. Big fan. Annoying whistle. <laughs> Mana shield. Nope. Ice lands. Nope. The abandoned camp. Fresh meat! When entering the camp, you see really big werewolf yelling and giving orders to other werewolves. He notices your presence and looks at you with a mocking face. That's Yogur, the butcher of Synenthia, and he has been terrorizing the forest for a long time. It's time to stop. It's time to put a stop to Yogur and disperse the bandits once and for all. Combat! Your eyes have met. There's not much more to say. Run! You didn't expect to fight a big werewolf. I know him! He served under me in the Wolf Wars. Maybe I can w reason with him. Well, well, well. If it isn't Captain Magnus, do you think yourself fancy? Wait, do you think your fancy words could change me? I see you're as foolish as ever. You don't seem to remember who gave you that scar. This time I'll kill you and take the Wolf Slayer with me. Fortunately, you had time to prepare while he spoke. Okay. That's a big werewolf. Uh, dinner is ready. Summon a sharpshooter. Dinner is ready. Summon a shaman. Okay. <laughs> Get that bleed stacking. I probably could have just put heal for free on anybody. Oh my god. That's a big spooky turn. Okay, neat. I guess I'm trying to put dots on them.
More dots. It's very important to me that I understand what the boss is doing. Hmm. Hacker voice, I'm in. I'll listen to this music. Gain armor. Apply scary. Deal bloody cleave to all heroes? Hate that. Why does that one deal 17 and that one does 15? I got a blue upgrade? Okay. We're still learning. Why bleed to everybody? That is so rude. What do you mean healing totem? Yager can be tough until you get some perks. I see that. I'm gonna save the energy. All right, can I apply more frost? Sure can't. Cool. Let's just keep hitting the old back row here. gonna put all the damage on them and uh maybe maybe my healer helps me next turn all right what do we got what do we got uh heal and rain there we go dispel x hold on there we go good stuff dispel bleed and poison uh, dispel bleed and poison. Good. Let's keep my tank row, my front row as tanky as possible. Have fun learning the game. It's a great time and I've enjoyed literal hundreds of hours with friends. Thank you. All right. Only front monster. That makes me sad. I only want to attack the back monster. Got this game back in December and had so much fun. Amazing. All right, what do we what do we know here? All heroes, front hero. Protect our. Put a little bit of block on everybody, you know. And then again, ah, maybe I'll hit a little bit. I was gonna say I want to save most of my energy for defending. This is co-op. Oh, I knew. Oh, I knew. So the boss is halfway dead. God, so am I. Oh my god. This is fine. This is fine. Everything here is fine. I'm having a good time. Nice. Okay, charge battery. It's good. Get a little spooky. Hmm. Only eight damage. Why are you so thick? Uh, here's a question about this fight. If I kill like the front row, does it just get resummoned? Is this one of those bosses that there's no point in like trying to burn it down? You know what I mean?
guess we'll find out. A little bit of test on the old mechanic. Alright, it's gone. Game powerful. Go buckets! Alright, well, they're just gonna die to bleed. Evelyn has been crushed! If your team survives, they'll resurrect with 70% of your total life. But remember that nothing comes without a price. Wow. My mage. I need them. Well, this is a problem. Okay, so they do just resummon, so there's no point in clearing ads. Good to know. Good to know. Hmm. They go through cyclically. Neat. Uh, we did rotate it. So now they have a rogue. That's exciting. Ow, please stop. I'm at 12 bleed. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had a card that got rid of bleed at some point. Okay, this one should probably go. Well, no, they'll heal each other, so that's fine. Um, I also can't help but notice that I drew um, none of my healing cards, which is bad. I think we die. Oh, I did. It's just a one-time use card. I was kind of hoping I'd redraw it, though. Hmm. Hey, bud, bud. Hey, Ink Slayer. I want to say thank you very much. Uh, pizza just arrived. You're a legend. Thank you, friend. Well, they're going to die. They're going to die to their own bleed. Can you switch the camera and chat layout? Looks like the boss has my hands in the face. Uh, we're about to die. I'm not going to worry about it too much. From Hell's Heart! You think we're okay? Do you think he lives through this? <laughs> Retry? Nah. Your quest ends here. We unlocked 38 new cards. Okay. This is our first ever time playing. This is very neat. Oh, I got perk points. What does that mean? You can assign perk points to heroes when playing a new game. I want to play more of this, but not right now. Uh, I think, actually, we might call it there for the day because lunch just showed up and I'm pretty hungry. Uh, this game looks great. Hey, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for joining me for part two of um, Roguelike Roulette. This has been great. I have absolutely loved the vibes. Uh, we also managed to raise $3,000 for the Trans Lifeline, which is amazing. So yeah, thank you for hanging out, everybody. Thank you for the good vibes. Thank you for all the support. Uh, yeah, I don't know when we're going to do Roguelike Roguelike again, but it's a very good time. And I want to keep this in my back pocket as something that we could break out for special occasions in the future. So if you had fun, let me know and let's, uh, you know, we'll think about it going forward, you know? Either way, you're all beautiful. I could not do this without each and every one of you. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, um, happy day after the six year anniversary of the channel. If you're new and you enjoy the vibes, give a follow. I'd love it if you came back. Uh, tomorrow's my day off. So I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to go skiing, which should be a blast. And yeah, we got to try out a bunch of new games. Also, shout out to all the people who basically set us up in such a way that we could get new games and check out new games. That was very cool. And that was very generous. So yeah. All right. I want to go raid my buddy, Adam. 
He's playing a roguelike. He's playing Darkest Dungeon 2 right now. I love Adam to death. I've, I tend to be very family friendly. Adam is great, uh, but says bad words. So just be aware that you're going to maybe encounter some of that even as soon as we raid. But go make a new friend. Go say hello to somebody. I'll see you on Saturday, friends. Ciao.